Yes, people. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Welcome back to the Graph Kings podcast. We're back in Moo Moo's, Kent's Hottest <laughs> Nightclub, and we are talking about green flag, red flag. So if you're unaware of what green flag, red flag is... Mercs and red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're green <laughs> flag. <laughs> yeah, we're green flags and mercs and red flag. Yeah, that's basically it. Right. It's basically things... We had a lot of success off the back of the cheating and non-cheating episodes. They went very viral on TikTok and stuff. People liked them a lot. We don't want to keep doing the same stuff, so we'd switch it up. People in the comment section come or well, coming for our necks, mm. which we love. Insecure. Like, insecure. We're really insecure. And if anyone watched the actual long form content, get over. Every beginning of the pod, someone's fucking about. <laughs> if anyone watched the long form content, most of you guys do, obviously, they would have known that it was a bit like a hard joke. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously. We do realize some of these things are can't be classed as cheating. It was just. Uh, <laughs> it's just it was, we, we aimed to get a reaction. And that's exactly and what we And we succeeded. Got. Yeah. Thank so you. Us. Thank you very much. 2.1 million. Thank Insecure you. Insecure kings. Insecure kings. So today we're doing red flag, green flag. It's very self-explanatory. We will do the exact same kind of um, setup as cheating and non-cheating and then follow up with a sentence. And then we'll discuss what we think a red flag and a green flag is. Yes, boys? Did I yep. say that right? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Mm. Uh, we, also, gen- we genuinely enjoy these pods more, I think, as yeah, well. Yeah, they're funny. Like, the last... Every pod we've done similar to this, we've always spiralled into a conversation during it about stuff that is actually relative and relatable to us and scenarios. Mm. Like, there is always... A, there's an element in truth in everything we say in, in those things. We might just say something else mm. to make it a little bit more funny and add a, an effect. But then, like, at the end of that pod, we then spoke for about 40 minutes about everything we'd just... Yeah, touched on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, from what we've seen, from what you guys tell us, you enjoy these f- podcasts far more than any any others. Yeah, agreed. And we enjoy making. We them. enjoy making them. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. we enjoy reading all the comments on TikTok when we're getting abuse. Like yeah, but we're sending them across so to each other on on our group chat, like yeah. creasing. So. so funny, man. But none of them got girlfriends. Uh, You're right. We don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't. <laughs> thank not, you. Not surprised. <laughs> like like we couldn't get girlfriends. And yeah. Uh, Donuts. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Anyway, yeah. so we're going to read them off. We're going to reel off and um, let's I'll see. Start, I'll start with one. You, you really, you've got one you really want yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. say yeah, go on then. Let him ease into it and then drop that one. Yeah, all right, go on then. Yeah, yeah, let's get one yeah. Yeah. Have, you, have you not heard it? No. Lube it up. No, he went to play it earlier and he stopped us. Yeah, lube it up. No, let, let's get the brain going. What do you want to do, Matt? You do your own. Get that loop off on it, boy. Loop off. Okay, cool. Red flag, green flag. She, insi- she insists on taking cute couple selfies every five minutes. Every five minutes? It's not a red flag. Or oh, there, but- there should be an orange flag in there yeah. somewhere, shouldn't there? Because uh. it's not a red flag. It's just a bit annoying. Wait, wait, how long have they been together? There's like... Nah, don't, no, no don't deep it. Yeah, don't deep it. No context. Not no, like that. No. Every five minutes, religiously. <laughs> yeah, so she has a reminder on her phone every five minutes. Alarm goes off. Need to take a cute photo together. I'm going with... Uh, That's more red than green. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Like, we, what, who are you trying to prove a point to every few minutes? Don't okay, yeah, red flag. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, red flag. Okay. Mark, who is this woman to me? Right, that's it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Lost your chance. <laughs> Mark wants a fucking bit more content. Red flag. Let me sort this fucking <clears throat> mic out. Right. Yeah. Red flag, red flag, green flag. He still has his ex's name tattooed on his body. That's red flag. Bro. That's red flag. Yeah. Yeah. That's jank. <laughs> that's, that's just jank. Well, I'll say that. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll I wouldn't even she, entertain. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't even get that far. No way. No. Never. never. I, I would never ever get a woman's like name well, tattooed on me. She was it. He. But it said he, but it's, it does so he. If it she, was but... the other way around. I don't feel I'll take someone. Yeah. Serious. So alright. So she still has her ex's name tattooed on her body. Never. Red flag. That's what Bert said. Why have you even fucking wife someone that has their ex's name tattooed on them? I said that. Yeah. I wouldn't even like. Hey, that was mine. Oh, hey, that was like, mine. That's like what he did to me the other time with my question. No, no, no <laughs> this is what it is. No, but yeah, no. It's a red, red flag, flag yeah? Yeah. yeah. Would, okay, fine. Would you be all right if she had it and got it removed? Yeah, if you went down a clinic. No, because I clinic. think, like, what has he done for you to want to get his name tattered on you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you loved him more than me, did you? Oh, I'm going to get called insecure again now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. I just, yeah, I wouldn't even fuck with a bird like that. Sorry. It's not a bit of me, bro. You would chop a bird, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'll get it to call me that name. I'll chop Ooh. a war criminal. <laughs> oh, brother. I'd... Would you say a war criminal? But I actually chopped a bird that had her ex's initials on, um, on her pump. I like the bird, yeah. You know the bird? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah, play yeah. to him. And then she was like, oh, I'm going to come with a little bit of fluff because I'm just covering the Oh, name. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I've left a little bit of fluff because I've not got it removed Dude, absolute crack, That's disgusting, it? bruv. Yeah, it is disgusting. That's disgusting. What? That's making me feel uncomfortable. She reads a bit of fluff. 
No, but she's like even had the conversation with him. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm keeping a bit of fluff down there to cover uh. my ex's initials. Uh. Uh. Brother, what's uh. that? Oh, bro, it was a fantastic, phenomenal beat. So no regrets. You know who it is, isn't it? Yeah, I know who yeah. it is. Cool, they're the name, isn't it? No, I can't. Red no, flag, no. green flag. She spends more time perfecti- perfecting her Instagram feed than planning dates. Red flag. Red flag. Yeah, red flag. Red flag. Red any girl that's like too so, obsessive with social media. Yeah, so facts. Bit. Yeah, not for me. That's your dating profile. I don't need that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That yeah, fair that. play. Yeah. We touched on this kind of last time, but she has almost like a shrine dedicated to her celebrity crush on like her phone or a bedroom or something. There's yeah, like a cardboard <laughs> cutout. You didn't say red flag, green flag. Red flag, green flag. She has almost like a dedicated shrine or like a cardboard cutout of her celebrity crush. That's a bit fucking weird. How old is she? About 12. And uh, <laughs> Red if flag. she's your bird, Merck, she's about 18. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm an aquim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to say that. You <laughs> yeah, these ones are on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no comment, nah. No, I'm not, I'm not oh, red flag. It's got to be a red flag, innit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, this is fair. Red flag, green flag. They're overly competitive in everything, even just a normal casual game. Green flag. Green flag. Green, like flag. Green flag. I'll beat her anyway. <laughs> I like that. I, I, I like her because in the mix, like she wants to actually have a good time and like pl- get a bit of competition. You're going to lose, but it's okay. <laughs> what are you, you laughing about? Anyway. You're dirty, <laughs> bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what, what's up? Why you, since we're, we're fighting on pod? <laughs> oh, bro, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with it, you prick. Is it that bad? <laughs> Oh man, I, I was trying. It. I was trying to smell it, and I was like, "If these not smell this, they're gonna." Fuck <laughs> <laughs> At least you make yourself laugh, you fat prick. No, that's making his eyes cry. Oh, did you not, say, did you not hear me cough when I let it out? <laughs> no, it goes in this. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 yeah, I think this is we can spiral into discussion on this one. Go on. Red flag, green flag. Just check my eye, bro. You carry on. I've got fucking shit all over it. And your nose. Ortasanda. That's it. Red flag, green flag. They think Netflix and chill is an acceptable first date idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a red flag. It, it, yeah, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. That's what's acceptable. Hmm. Yeah, a red flag. It's a red flag. It We're all guilty of it, but it's a red flag. We're guilty of it because you know why you're Netflix and chilling. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's just background noise. So hang on, what are we saying here? What are we saying? Are we saying that a red flag is because... Like, she, like how, how, what are you saying is a red flag here? Is it that they're accepting to come to yours no. for a first date for Netflix, re- I think it's, Netflix and chill? Oh, I, it, think it's, I think it's a red flag that I'm even suggesting it. And I do suggest it, but I'm done. You think? Uh, yeah. So I of course think, it is. I think it depends on the context behind it in respect of how she, what she's done off the back of it. So if, his, if a guy's invited a girl around and she's gone and she's not done anything, is that a red flag? Mm, that's yeah, that's a good. Why point. are you getting to bed of a man on the first night if like not bed, like just chilling on the sofa? Let's just say he set the tone, like some of us do, and someone's come round. I don't know who we're talking about here, but yeah, someone's just come round and you're chilling on the sofa. She's gone round there. She's met him. She's not done anything. She's gone home. Is that a red flag? It's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Yeah, maybe for him. It's a bad investment. The ROI, the ROI is ROI weak. Is awful, mate. Maybe for him, but I'm saying for, from we're talking from her perspective. Um, as men, no, I suppose a, not. Do you know what I mean? I don't understand. Like, I don't know what you mean. Well, maybe she just... You don't know what I mean. Out, I, don't I don't know what anyone means. Like, what's the, what part of this is the red flag? So, like, the, the date suggestion is the red flag, right? Surely that's the red flag. I suppose we're, t- we're thinking of what comes with... Yeah, Netflix no, no. The, the, if, yeah. If a bloke suggesting to a girl for Netflix and chill, shoot myself in the foot, but suggesting... <laughs> <laughs> if a bloke suggesting Netflix and chill as a first date, that is a red flag. I hold my hands up. I, I admit. But I don't know... If, do you know what? I don't actually know if it is anymore, bruv. Because if you're not going out, like especially at the age we're at now, cost of living crisis. <laughs> no money. No, but if you're not going out now, and you've got your own place, or you know, or even if she's got her own place or whatever, you don't want to go out and necessarily go out on a date because you think, do you know what? It's all like I ain't got time to go there and go in all that sort of bullshit. If you're adult enough to be like, look, do you want to come around and have a bit of dinner? Yeah, well, okay, right. Then we can dive into this more. What are you trying to get out of this girl? You actually think you see it as a potential prospect for the future, or yeah, are you trying okay, to get yeah, shagged yeah, out? There's, of there's it? that, yeah. Because if you're looking for a potential prospect for the future, and she's even agreeing to come round for that, I'm shitting myself. No, in yeah, the foot. yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm saying. No, I'm but giving you know what? That that comes down to no. that comes down to what we say before is that you set it, the tone. Yeah, of course. So yeah. If you're saying to her, we're not going to be like this is not a relationship thing, then it's cool. Yeah. Of course, I mean? both parties as long as she understands that. Yeah, but, yeah, but let's be honest, 
Do you really need to have that conversation to say, this is just what it is if she's agreed on coming around? I'd never say, them words would come in my mouth. That's what I'm saying. I don't tell them, this isn't going to be a relationship. I'm just saying, yeah, so I'm, exactly. not looking for, I'm not looking for a relationship. Yeah, so, yeah of course, of course. You've set the standards. Yeah. So I'm, what I'm saying is, if a girl's agreed to come around, you're, you ain't at that point going to go, by the way, it's this. Yeah, no, she's no, no, of course. agreed to come but around. But girls, girls chase red flags. So I've gave her my red flag suggestion, come around from Netflix and chill. She said yes to the red flag. That's yeah, on her. Okay. Yeah, fair. So it's a red flag suggestion. If mm. you say yeah, who gives a fuck? Do you know what I'm saying? Facts, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Maybe mm-hmm. she's colorblind, bless her. <laughs> right. Red flag, green flag. She's more interested in your bank balance than your personality. That's Big the, fucking red flag. Red, Big flag. red flag. Are you joking? That's lot, not even a question. A lot of them about now. But, but this, is, this is the thing though. Like Most women are looking for sponsors, not even boyfriends anymore. It's a lifestyle they're chasing. That's so true. I sort of do get it though. Like yeah, from have, a from a uh, evolutionary standpoint, I get it. Like you would pick, if you was a fit bird, you're gonna pick the best option, no? There's there's no, so say if they get on with you and you're attractive and you got dough, they're gonna go with the one with the dough rather than if they get on with someone you're attractive and you ain't got dough. That's what I would do. Yeah, but then like you don't t- no one ever ticks all of those boxes. So I think it's some what you pro- it's, but it's what you prioritize when you're looking for someone. If a woman just only thoroughly like, her number one yeah, thing priority yeah, yeah, yeah. is just money, yeah, then, that's the then it's like well. There's other things that are more important as well. Of you know course, of course, yeah. But I, I get it. Like everyone wants a nice lifestyle, especially in the West. Like we 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 we're uh, we think in a way we're we're seeing a certain lifestyle. You want that? That's okay. But if it's just your main objective is just to find yeah, someone with money, yeah. and you don't give a shit what type of morals, ethics, and personality traits that they have, then I think that is a big red flag. I agree. Mm. It's I agree. okay to want money, but there's other things that go uh, before that and with that. Because yeah. girls at the end of the day look for qualities for protecting and providing and money comes with the providing aspect, don't they? So yeah. they're going to obviously warp towards that in some aspect. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I'll, yeah, I'll get it to an extent. It's, it's but okay for them. If that's all you look for, then, that's, yeah, then you have no for depth sure. and that's obviously a red flag. But I understand why you'd want to choose that option. I do get it. Yeah. Red flag, green flag. She puts her face... Okay. Where? Puts it where? Puts mate? it where? I'm going to say it again. Rewind. Red flag, green flag. She puts her phone face down on the table on the first date. Oh, it's because we do it as well. So no, we're thinking. No, no, my isn't phone, my the phone, my phone doesn't come out my I pocket. Actually, I, don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. don't my phone does not come out my pocket, bro. I let them watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, that's brilliant. I don't think either. first date. I don't because look. Let's be honest, right? Let's be very honest with ourselves. Anyone that's going on the first date doesn't know where this date's even going anyway. So you're obviously going to be chatting to other things, or you're going to, the girls are going to be chatting to other guys in the background. You can't be angry at her for doing that. She's keeping no. her options open. She has no idea how this first date's going to progress. No, no, no. Hang on. I think you've. I think you've. No, nope, you said first date. Yeah, no, but I think you've misunderstood the question. No, I haven't, because she shouldn't feel like she's putting it down. But I can kind of get why she's putting it down. Like she probably doesn't want to interrupt the day. But she's even if she is hiding something, she's not really hiding anything that I should be getting angry about. But I then, have no right to have be angry about anything. No, I don't think you have the right to be angry. But yeah, then I suppose that, yeah. you're just trying to set an impression, so you don't want people to see who or how many people you're speaking to. So I don't know if people do it out of respect or it's like a secret thing. But it's definitely not out of respect. You just keep it in your pocket. But was. that's what I'm saying. My just, phone does just... not come out of my pocket on a date, boys. I do not. Really? My phone does not go on a date. Really? No, bro. Never. Oh, I reply to you lot, bro. I don't no. Give a fuck. I leave I'll do it. If I go to my phone's always out. My phone's always out. out. I never hide anything. Well, my phone's no. never hidden. My phone's face up. I would it? think that if I was sat on a date with a bird, even first time or not, if set, if you're setting the first impression. If she got her phone out and put it on the table, I think that's fucking rude, bro. What? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I deep in No, I swear to you. Yeah, but then bro. if her phone's yeah, out, I'm out. I'm busy, bro. My phone's on D and D when yeah, I'm with someone. Yeah, but really? if, if she's yeah. if she's if she's there with you, her phone's out, but she's not responding to it, then why does that matter? Yeah. I don't know, I just don't like it. Why well, well, do I just leave your phone up, in your bag, bro? Why well, does we have like a million dollar question and we're like, bro, we need you and you're just in yeah, your you, pocket. Yeah, but you boys know where what I am. What if her mum's trying to call her? What if yeah. her dad's trying to call her? She'll see it eventually. What if it's on silent D&D? She ain't going to see it. What if oh, they I don't, yeah, I don't think... It's, I, yeah. Yeah. It's, I, not bit, it's not a bit... It's not. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't have any problem with her having nah, my phone out. I wouldn't really care, but if it was like care. further down the line in the relationship... All right, let's, like, let's just no, switch that ever so slightly. If her phone was on the table and you're seeing messages pop up on the first date, what's your impressions about that? I would turn it into a positive. I would turn that into a positive. I'd go, fucking hell. A lot of guys after you in it, I mean, I'd spire into a conversation. Like how I'd, I'd put it in my favour somehow. But yet you're here with me. I'd turn it somehow. I'd use that to my advantage. I always try and look at a negative and turn it into a positive. Do you know what my biggest red flag is? You motherfuckers not hitting the subscribe button. Now hit subscribe. Let's get back to the pod.
If you're if if you are dating someone mm-hmm. though, would you not still want them to not be talking to that many people at a first like date? First date, no. Date like, is different, bro. No, you so, know, what, you know, let's specify because you know Americans, mm-hmm. they see date. They what we call dating is not what they call dating. Dating in America is like you know when you're like seeing someone before you go out, like, you ask them out. That's called dating mm-hmm. to them. So like, well, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dating in America is different, but we we see dating as a going on a date. Yeah, that's that's they're two different things. So just be. Specified. I think you need to be a little bit clearer on that because you've right, right. Like, well, So in America, when yeah. you, in England, when you see a girl, like the, the the period before you get with them and ask them out, in America they call that dating. That period before you ask the girl out to be your girlfriend. In England, we call that seeing someone. But in England, we also say we go on dates with someone. So like if you're going on a date with someone, dating is not the same thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, yeah. fine. Does anyone fine, understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Because they, they would say like the whole six months they was dating. Do you know what I mean? Right, okay. The whole fine. six months I was seeing that person. Different different dialogues, just to be specific, because people might see that as different. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just want to clear that up. Anyway, anyway so I've, you're... Got, I've got to say, like, on the. I've not been on many properly, like, I don't think, well, maybe you two have, but like, I'm on about proper actual first dates, like, really good. I've been on loads. Mm. I've been on like, loads. Not loads, but enough to. Yeah, know... you've been on enough, is what I mean. And that's what, what I was going to say is, like, the girls I've been on proper good dates with, their phones never really come out of their bag when they're with me. And look where they all were now. Yeah, but whose fault's that? Let me just say, but they're obviously not really good girls. I've wanted you to cling on to them, isn't it? I have. That's what I'm saying. That's good manners. That's, that's good rubbish. Girl. That's a really bad comparison. Listen to this. There. there was a girl, you actually cut this name out. Oh, you dated her, yeah. Well, I was seeing her for a little while. You, we you was... chopped. You mean like Merc seeing or actual, or actual right. seeing? <laughs> no, no, actual seeing. Like, <laughs> right, okay. We were speaking, seeing, all of this. But it was never serious, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck you lot. No, sorry, 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 oh, go on. No point. Go on, go on. Um, no, we, we, were added, we were added to your joke, bro. I don't know what you're joking about. Don't take a piss out of me. No, you're so insecure in it. In it, bro. You're very insecure in it. What, what I said. insecure about? You're seeing someone, I said, what, like Merck seeing someone or actual seeing someone? Oh, okay. Uh, Aussie's uh, uh, Aussie Sorry, Aussie's old, old, so yeah, it takes him a little time. Any, I forgot what I was going to say, innit? So you're seeing you. And when she was around mine, in bed, like in the morning, This at this point, we know it's not serious, but we're just like kind of sleeping together. A name was just a name was like popping up on her phone, and it was the same geezer's name like every time she'd come round, and now she's with the geezer. Wow, bro! So many people do that. Yeah, but they say they know the next fella, don't they? Yeah, exactly. But I just find that a little bit weird. It weird I think bro. it's weird. I think it's really weird. Mm. Like this isn't like a first date instant. This is mm. like you you've been seeing someone for a little while. All right, you gathered it's not probably gonna go anywhere, but you're still sleeping together. And then there's a guy you're texting, and you know. He might be a fucking a if candidate. If you fuck up, he's there, sort of thing. Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we just kind of, that was the first time, last time I seen and then she was She's like, still with him? Oh. Yeah. Wow. How long ago is this now? It can't be that long ago, because I remember, when, was, I remember when she was single, so it can't be that long ago. Huh. What, two, three years? No, less than that. I thought it was less. Less than that. I was the last person she was seeing before she got in a relationship. Honestly, I, the more I get exposed to this world, I just don't trust anyone. Mm. What about what we got told yesterday what we can't oh, talk wow. about? Just <clears throat> that was so bad. What? What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking hell. Oh yeah. Fuck me. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Can't, can't I'd love to tell that story. Can't tell the story. Can't even suggest what the story is. Yeah. Nothing. Go on. Carry on. God, I'd Go love on. to tell that story. <laughs> Go on. Tell it. I'm gonna get on with it. Shall I? No. no, no, no I'm no. joking. I wouldn't. Um, Go on, Mark. Tell yours while I look through these. Some of them are dead. Okay. So this one's like a. It's a. It's a it's a green flag, but it could also be a red flag. So <laughs> that's giving context. <laughs> that's the whole point of this game. It could be either, mate. No, but like, it's like a contrast of both. So just hear me All out. Right, go on. So red flag, green flag. She has a very close relationship with her family, but she calls her father daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so weird. I can't, I can't get involved in this conversation. Well, carry on. <laughs> she calls her dad daddy. Yeah. I know a couple. Of that, I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. How so old is she? It's so funny. Before it I... probably turned me on every time I heard her say it. But what's wrong with you? Why? Because I think you should call me that. Daddy, chill. Must be a sat dinner and they're like, "Daddy, pass me the store and you both go for it." <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh, oh it's yeah. so funny. Mate, yo, even if she never called you daddy, you'd have to do that once just to see. <laughs> no, what you happened. couldn't. You couldn't. You'd disrespect. have to. <laughs> That's disrespectful. You'd have to do it. That's disrespectful. No, it bad, I'd never bro. do and it. But then, as soon as you do it, you go, I'm only joking. I'm no, like, I would not do that. that funny, That's not funny, bro. That's his little <laughs> I don't know, girl, I bro. I think I'd find that. No, you wouldn't, bro. You would not <laughs> find that funny. Your daughter. Your daughter. Yeah. Your daughter. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, bro. Oh, boys, if you went, I'm only joking. Got some scrout doing that at the dinner table. No, you would not find that. Some scrout. Are you kidding? You 
fucking would have boxed his head in, bruv. That's your little girl. I mean, some geezer's gone. Some fucking... Oh, <laughs> some 19-year-old little prune that yeah. you can't even like, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny cool. it's, oh, it's not funny where is it then red flag green flag no it's fine it's, yeah. the, it's, it's, it's not a red flag weird, but it's, <laughs> it's not I a red flag I don't know what to do oh, yeah, it. I feel, I think it's, it's a, a green flag I think it's a green bless flag bless her she just calls her dad daddy innit like what the fuck loads of Irish birds say that would yeah. you know why that's Sad more you know that, that, that daddy right now. Co- Go on. say daddy calling is more America and yeah, that's yeah. that's rich like, as well quite yeah. posh girls call it daddy. no I meant like calling your sexual partner daddy is more oh, seen in the Latina world and in you America you want your little girl to call you daddy wouldn't you do you know what I mean yeah so puppy. I feel like we've ruined the word <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't wait to tell that one could you yeah I thought it would be funny red flag green flag they think Tinder is the best place to find a long term relationship <sighs> I don't know man I, don't I know. think that's I do, a red flag I do think that's a bit of a red flag that's the only a place bit. to think. Yeah, if it's a red flag. If, you, if that's how close-minded you are, and you don't think there's any other mm. hope for you, and you think dating profiles are the only way forward, then yeah, that's a red flag. One hundred percent. And there mm. are people out there that have genuinely met through Tinder. And yeah, married, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, married. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I know people. Oh, yeah. I mean, really? Yeah, yeah, I know Lydia. This guy I used to work with. She met her boyfriend on Tinder or husband on Tinder. Still with him today, four years on. Wow, fair play. There's Fucking nothing hell. wrong with that. Well, there's nothing no, wrong with it. Nothing wrong with but it. But he said that's the, that, that the girl or person thinks that's the only place you can find a partner it's is on the Tinder. Place, it's it's yeah, it's probably yeah, it's not right. It's probably the worst place. Red flag, green flag. They're overly concerned about their brand on social media, as in themselves, like their personal brand. Um, you know, I, the, you I, know the, the type of people who don't accept collabs on their photos. I don't, I don't think that's a bad of, thing. Of course, you wouldn't think it's no, a bad I don't thing. Think that's a bad thing. I don't think you should associate yourself with everything. What, like your mates? That's different, though. Bro. I just didn't like the photo on my feed, my personal feed. It depends to the extent of what they're doing it for. Like, like if, if they just want to clean food, then I don't see a problem with that, bro. It depends if they're making money off their social media or not. Mm. Yeah. What's your brand? If you're making dough and that's your image and you're making that's your job, then yeah, of course it matters. If you're just some fucking donut girl that just puts some slaps some makeup on every week just to look pretty to be to grab male attention, then no, it's a fucking red flag. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah exactly. It depends what you're doing it for. Yeah, all, context needs to be given on some yeah. of these. But yeah, okay. Can I do one? Yeah, go on. <clears throat> red flag, green flag. She goes to therapy once a month. Green flag. Green flag? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a red, that's a red flag, bro. What's she going to therapy for? There's a matter. There's no context, bro. It's just a question. Therapy once a week? Yeah. yeah. Therapy's once a month, bro. I'm not once a week. Wait, she must... Hell. Once a week, well, she must have a good job to pay for therapy once a week. Therapy's not cheap, bro. Yeah, she can pay for it herself. I didn't say I'm paying for it. You just said, is it about? <laughs> I it? never said she's paying for it. I'm yeah. just saying. Why I don't. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, it's a ve- listen. I, I think therapy's good. Yeah, I don't know how to answer. But that. But if I'm choosing my partner and she's going to therapy every month, it's a red flag. Yeah, it depends what for. But yeah, she might have had childhood trauma. Red yeah, flag. She's, she's, that's not she's, a red she's flag, lost, man. She's lost. No, hear me out. Hear me out. I obviously I have empathy for this person. But I don't want to be dealing with her troubles when, look, I'm early in the early stages. I'm not falling in love with this girl. I'm picking a partner here. Yeah, but- I don't want all the baggage that comes with her. If I find out this is what she's doing every month, I'm staying clear of it. Good luck with your journey. I hope you get along right. great, but it's not for me. Yeah, but Why not- do I want to bring that unnecessary like burden onto my life? Yeah, I'm not even falling you- in love. Hold on, let me land, bro. Sorry, bro. I'm not even falling in love with this person. Why the fuck am I going to choose someone that goes to therapy every month? Why? Yeah, but how are you dealing with it? She's going to therapy. She's dealing with it there. I'm not dealing with it. She's dealing with it. No, that's what I'm so saying. That's what she's, de- saying. she's dealing with it at good, therapy. Good luck. I'll find someone else that's not dealing with it. So what happens if you're with someone and then they need therapy down the line because they lost a family? That's member. fair enough. Now I'm in love with that person. I'm investing in that person. Yeah. He said, you find someone that's got... you. Is it a red flag or green flag? Remember, we're picking people here. And you're saying, that's a red flag. I'm staying away from that. Or it's a green flag. I'm staying away from that. She goes to therapy once a month, bro. I'm staying away from that. That's a red flag. But are we just giving green green flag, red flag, just depend on we're not with this person? We're, it's just like beginning stage. We're giving say, more context to it, aren't we? We're in, every single, in, in every single scenario. Yeah, I think, I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think we should take it on the sense of, like I say, that you're poten- there's a potential to yeah. start dating yeah. that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before you get too okay. involved with them, yeah. you're seeing these flags pop up and all yeah. of a sudden you're like, by the way, I need to let you know something. I, you know, X, Y, Z happened when I was younger or something happened when I was younger or whatever. And I go to therapy once a month. That's fine. And like I said, I'm empathetic towards this person. I hope they find their peace, but I'm not going to take that on. I'm afraid. And especially if I'm not even invested in it. So what's the point of that? You're not it's obliged to. No. I don't know on that, if I'm honest with you. I can't give you an answer on that right immediately. I don't know. Like, um, I've seen a lot. So I could, I could probably, I'd want to know why. Definitely. Mm. I'd want to ask her why. 
But um, you, you don't even love this person at this point. What's the point? Don't matter, man. You, know, you might you see real potential in that person, and she's like, she's been that open on it to say, by the way, look, I do go to therapy once a month. Like, she happened to me when I was younger. Like, I'm fine, but I do just need to let some sort of steam off and talk to someone once a month that I've never really. I'd be like, I couldn't, I could not like. I wouldn't judge her either. I think fair play to you, but I'm still yeah. not getting involved with it. In my eyes, to me, if I'm picking a partner, <laughs> that in, I, I bless her art, but I feel sorry for her. But that's a red flag. I'm, I'm staying away from it. No, I don't know. Why? Why? Would... I could see past that. I could. I could. Yeah, that wouldn't bother me. Potentially, I think you could yeah. just go. You could suss it out and see how it unravels. If you feel like she acts in a way where that thing that she needs therapy for is affecting the way she is with you, then then you can kind of say that. But well, if she comes once a month, it's obviously going to affect the relationship. Mm. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, I reckon so. It yeah. might just be a real safe space for her to just. Does she have blue hair? <laughs> right. Well, okay. I've got one. Red flag. Green flag. She's friends with her ex. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Fuck that. Red flag. Why? Why would you want to be friends with your ex anyway? Red I've flag. Under- I've never understood it. No, I've never understood it. <clears throat> but even you, if it, you, even if it ended like in a in a in a good way or amic- amicably, like. Uh, why do you know what? I do see though? the other side. It's a red flag. I do see the other side of it though. I do. I have deep this before this question. Like, really deeped it. Imagine, yeah, like you spend three, four, five years with a person. You're in like you're emotionally involved with them. You've done all these trips together. You met their family. You love them. You had good, good sex. You like, you know everything about this human being, and it doesn't end in a toxic manner. You just grow apart. I think it's a bit strange that you, you delete that person out of your life completely. You got to look at that perspective. Like that's fucked. Like that person's been in your life for that long, and it's not even ended toxic, and yet you're just gonna pretend that person didn't exist. It's weird how that can happen. It's, it? it's so weird. So no, weird. It's not bro. pretending that they don't exist, but that that chapter is over. So why are you still going to go see their family? Because there's this guy. I'm going to see their family. But... There's this guy in my gym. He's young. He's been with this girl for about four years, four or five years. He's about 19, 20 years old now, and they're broken up. And he still goes to their house to chill with her brothers, chill with the mother, and they're both seeing other people. And I'm thinking that's a bit weird. I yeah. feel like that is weird. That's weird. That's very weird. That is weird. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like he's seeing someone else. I think she might be seeing someone else. And there's well, and he still ju- he still goes round there with the family. She just won't say hi, she won't say anything. She'll go straight up to her room. They don't speak, but he'll speak with their family. Well, I was saying that, like imagine like say being with someone for that long, like you properly love their mum and dad, like and like say it didn't end in toxic ways, maybe just fell out of love. You think, fuck me, that's basically like my second family. Yeah, like, I'd no. want to go. Would you want to still go and see her mum and I don't have a cup of tea with her mum and dad and stuff? It's I don't know. It's I, I suppose you can't answer until you're in that scenario, until you're in that situation, because like every one scenario is unique. Like you being friends with Alicia is a very unique scenario. Like, do you know what I mean? Everything is is unique. Well, tell you what, you, you all thought it's cool when Tony Truman's taking yeah. all these birds to the same party, but then as soon as we put it in this context, it's not cool. Everyone's like, yeah, that's right. So it all depends how, how you are, how you. What, He's how friends you of them all. Things. Had them all in the same bed and stuff. Like, yeah. that's crazy. But there's a reason. Shout out Tony. There's, only, there's a reason he's able to do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, because he's got. I don't think that is because that of Mason the is. It is. Mason it is. Mason million percent it is. He's... Well, you reckon if you use skin, that would be happening? No, no but why? why? He doesn't. He don't give him fuck all, does he? That's a man. He provides probably good life. He probably like, looks after him. Like probably keeps in touch with the family and stuff. Like, bro, it's, uh, that money money gives you that power. Red flag, green flag. She uses emojis excessively in every message. Red. I don't know. That's a, I don't think that's a red or a green. What, excessively? I don't think it's a red flag, but it's a little bit fucking annoying. Like, stop sending emojis. Stop using emojis, bro. Send nudes instead. <laughs> red flag, green flag. He still lives with his parents and there's no intentions of moving out anytime soon. I bought a house, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can say that. I always could have bought a house. Wait, so wait, can you repeat the question? Right, red flag, green flag. They live with their parents and have no intention of moving out anytime soon. Yeah, that is a red flag. That's a red flag. Do you know what? Yeah. Why is that a red flag? In the West, is a red flag. I think that's a green flag because you will date a guy that's got a bachelor pad, but you won't do, uh, date a guy that lives at home. Like, you can trust the geezer that's at home, maybe. But I think the key thing is he has no intention of moving that's out. That's the key part of that sentence. I suppose so. Okay. Like, if he's literally happy just living there until his parents pass away what? and then just like, I don't know. You what if have- it's a mansion? Yeah. It's a big gaff, and he's got his own little part of the gaff. Red flag, green flag. She constantly talks about her future wedding plans, even though you've just started dating. Red flag. That really fucks me off, bro. It's a, it depends if it says in jest or not. It's a red flag, but it it's depends. How fucking it's, irritating. Because then, like, that's all they want to do. I tell all these birds I'm not getting married, so dream on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Are you waiting for me the answer? Yeah. Um. Bit of both, really. Um, 
Damn. Damn. I've got one. Red flag, green flag. When you're not in her and she don't go to the toilet afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Shit on the pill. You know those ones where they just lay there and you're like, right, you gonna get up or? Okay now, Matt. <laughs> what? Well, we're gonna spice up a what bit. What do you want her to do? Go to the toilet. Normally no. they run toilet and they're like, oh, fucking let me go sort that out. They're fucking dripping everywhere. Oh, we didn't answer red flag or green flag. I think it's a bit of a red flag, man. I don't think it's either. I don't think it's, yeah, either, either. I don't think it's either, either. Would it put you off if, if you didn't? What? Get up and go and sort it out. Um, what, just fell asleep? <laughs> yeah, like literally just rolled over. I don't care. <laughs> I don't think I care either. I don't care. They actually say it's very very rude, like if you nut in a bird and just get up and just go toilet. I want to clean myself up. Yeah. But I'm just saying like, I don't know, like if there's... Who said it's rude? I, I don't know, I was, I was watching it somewhere. I'm not saying I, I agree with this. I'm just trying to add to it. Yeah, add of a bit more context to it. Someone was saying like, you shouldn't just get up and move like... Girls want to be comforted and you just want to chill with them for a yeah, bit. No, there's you, a mess, I get it. Yeah, you'd go back though. I wouldn't just get up and then go and make myself yeah. a fucking sandwich, mate. Yeah, I'll get, you I probably would. I would, yeah, well, definitely. I would, I would clean myself up, put my box on, get back in, yeah, have a cuddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe not even put my box back on. Nah. Depends how I feel. Then he no, just just shrivels shrivels up. <laughs> little mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> a little mushroom. <laughs> 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 oh. I always do that, bro. <laughs> I always clean myself up. Yeah, you go, no, man. I'd just, I'd just go. laying about naked, bro. I really yeah, don't like it. Especially if there's a lot of fluid about. I, just, I like to put my box on. I can't sleep naked. Yeah, oh, I, can. I love sleeping naked, bro. I don't like it, no. Really? It's unhygienic, bro. Yeah, it's just not right, bro. It's wrong, Well bro. unhygienic, it's bro. Grim, bro. You dusty ass and rubbing on bed sheets. And... <laughs> dusty ass. I'm mean, jank. <laughs> so I'm so jank. After a fresh shower. <laughs> after a fresh shower, it's a bit different. Yeah, I wouldn't just get into bed naked and just shits and giggles, is it? Dusty ass. <laughs> Fucking hell, boys. <laughs> And also, also another <laughs> thing I thought about before, which I had like to endure. Oh, I go to bed, uh, I have a shower, I go to bed, and then I get out for a piss in the middle of the night, and now I've got a pissy cock, and I've got to get in my bed with yeah, pissy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you've got yeah. pissy cock in bed, so now you've got a pissy cock, cock bed. Like, like yeah. what's the point of that? So you have a piss, you get back in bed, you think there's still a little bit more. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Where and now did they come from? And now it's on your bed. Now you've got a pissy bed. So no, I think I think it's unhygienic. Yeah, I, I agree. I, with yeah, I, think I hear it's what you're weird, saying, bro. Like girls can do what they want, but lads, that's odd. I think you should wear boxes in bed. Mm. I, I don't know how I don't know how people wear pajamas in bed. No, no, I can't. Yeah, that, that how do weird. you wear clothes in bed? What? How would you wear clothes in bed? No, I couldn't. That's the most. But that's that was normal up until about probably up 20, 30 years ago. You should always wear the t-shirt to bed. That's a red no, flag, bro. No, you don't. We, on holiday, it's different. I don't think. Ask really. him, bro. Ask him. Yeah, I've never seen him wear a t-shirt in bed once. Because he's on holiday. I've never seen him wear one in England once. Who, who are you talking about? I always see him wear G. one in England, bro. I've seen G. him wear a t-shirt loads of times to bed. G. No, oh, you haven't. Yes, I have, bro. Don't just make that up. So you've yeah. never seen it out of one? No, he's never... <laughs> <laughs> out of a t-shirt? No. Mate's trying to say that Georgia wears his t-shirt to bed every night. I just don't think he does. No, I've never seen him wear one in Thailand to bed. Why like, would you he, wear clothes to bed? He just wears an oversized one with no shorts on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because your bull look hanging out the bottom. <laughs> Red flag, green flag. She insists on discussing her sexual past on the first date. Red flag. Red flag. That's a massive red flag, bro. It's a huge red flag. Oh, why are you discuss? I don't want to know. Sexual yeah. past. Oh, actually. What body count or like? Oh yeah. Yeah, nah. been dug out. Well, yeah but then she's if she's telling me already, she's obviously got reasons. Why would you? Why would you tell me that? So that's only, a red flag. Well, the only reason you're boasting about it, maybe if it's low though. I've had girls do that. Yeah. Before. Have you not? Yeah, girls have only slept with like two bodies. Yeah, yeah I've only slept yeah. with like two, three people. I'm like, okay, well you couldn't wait to put throw that one in there because you know realistically that matters to us the most. Have you ever had that when they've said that and then they've come round and just put it out straight away and it makes you like think, are they, are they chatting shit? Never had that. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It, it, it has done, yeah. It has done. But it's like, it's, it's exactly like how a guy would lie about his body count and say it's not over a certain amount. Girl, girls want you to tell you it's high as what it is. I don't lie. I don't lie. I'm not, I yeah, never... but let's take us out of context yeah. and think about everyone as a, as a whole. Like, I feel being... like a lot of girls won't tell you it's more than yeah. a certain number because low key, they know that's what we care about. And certain girls don't like guys with high body count. So guys will lie about it as well. I don't what, think girls care. You said, it depends like, what, ca depends what, depends what caliber of man you are. Yeah. I don't think they care. I've never had a bird be like- You're a certain caliber of man. Do you know what I mean? They, don't, they say they care. I feel like some girls... Some to be girls like publicly lying. accept... No, they don't, bruv. They, bruv, some girls... They, 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 they've never cared with me, but I know they do care. So what do you think they don't care about? 
I just don't think they actually care. I think that it's just a fucking about public... What? It's what an image, not, bro. What, about their body count? No, about our body count. No, no, mo- most of them don't. I don't think they give a fuck. I think nah. they just say it just to be, like, fucking politically correct. Maybe. They do, bro. Like, I just... Girls don't care, bruv. To some that sort what? of level, they don't. Girl, girls don't care. If, you, if you're a certain calibre of male, girls do not care about your body count. They can I think easily get some girls it. will. Nah. None. I think they do. I think None. they just say not, it. Not one. Unless no. you like, I think nope. I reckon they care more if you'd like shag the mate or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. matters. Yeah, they'll care about that. They won't care if, if they you... don't know any of them, then why would they care? No, they wouldn't. No no girl that goes for a high caliber man gives a fuck how many boys they slept with. Boys, boys they slept with? <laughs> <laughs> girls they slept with. All boys they slept with. Depends what you're into, lads. Yeah. Which is fine. Which is fine. Which is fine. Don't cancel me, Which please don't fine. cancel me. Which is fine. We don't care what you're about. But yeah, no, I don't think anyone cares. Any girl cares, sorry. Yeah, fair play. Red flag, green flag. She wants to be the breadwinner of the family. She, she can want to do anything, but she ain't. <laughs> is that oh, is man. that a red flag though? No, I think that's no, a green flag. Not, no, she's contributing. It's a green flag. I think it's a big. She green wants flag. to be the breadwinner. She she might want to be. Want, she's exactly. To be. She might want to be. But that's okay because she'll what be. What happens if she's putting that over her dedication to her kids and her family and everything else? Well, you've added a that's lot a red more flag. context, and that's a that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's what I would say as well. That's what I'm saying. The whole she, reason she wants to be the breadwinner. I don't yeah, think that's a, but, not but a bad thing. Red winner in this day and age, she so many. Con- this is a difficult thing. This red flag, green flag, because there's so many different scenarios around it. She could be the breadwinner at home, posting pictures with her kids, making 10, 15 grand a month. Yeah, like Tony Hen, bro. She has it off, bro. So like, if she's a, if she works with a nine to five job that she's got to be in the office every day and she's the breadwinner, then yeah, that's a red flag. But like, it's only a red flag because she's given up her time away from her kids and her family. But if your job is being at home and you can earn dough. And you're looking after your kids and you're with them and you're taking the school and stuff like that, then it's not a red flag. Even right, let's put it this way, yeah. even if she's maternal and she wants kids and a family, do you not think it's competing? Like she's just competing with you to to be the breadwinner because that's what we're talking about here. She wants to be the breadwinner of the family. Mm. I have to be that person. I think it's, it's like, quite a weird it's like, Think of it how we think about it. She's thinking like that. Yeah. Like, I want to do she's this. She's that, yeah. It's a bit much. In that respect. Yeah. Throw, it, throw everything else aside. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Mm. If she's that insistent. Like chill, daddy chill. I reckon there's an ulterior motive that she wants to be. Make yeah, sure free now. Okay. There's so many avenues on that, that can go down. On that, you, would you make your your birds sign prenups? I would. I would. I wouldn't make them sign oh, it in man. a way where I'm doing it just to stop them from getting absolutely everything. Mm. It's not that. No, it, of it would be in a way to protect them and me. Yeah. And maybe hypothetically speaking, something that I might be inheriting or something like that. Facts. So I don't I know, think, man. Do you know what? Like, part of me thinks. I know, I know you can't, um, trust me, I know you, I don't trust anybody as it is, but like, I'd like to think I've picked my wife carefully, man. I would never have to fucking yeah, even well, think about that. Error, num- I know, error number one. Yeah, 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 of course. I know that's not obviously that's always a reality, world, but though, do you know what I'm it? saying? Do you know, get what I mean? I'd like to think I wouldn't yeah, have to do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get what you're I'm saying. Sure, and I'm sure every single person that's ended in divorce <laughs> probably thought the same yeah, thing. Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This is not an ideal world. We don't <laughs> live in one. Unfortunately, I know, bro. No, 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 no. So you always have to protect yourself, I think. Always. Personally. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always signing stuff. I'd do it to protect myself. Yeah. My own personal assets, everything that's So if she asked you to sign one, would you sign one? Have you seen? Have yeah, you guys yeah, seen? As long as I've read through it, I agree with the T's and C's. I don't mind. No, that is her. It's her prenup. Like as in, say, like she's multi-millionaire or she's going to inherit it. She's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Why? Why? Of course, she's entitled to that dough. It's her money. I'm not going to rob her. Yeah. As long as you do it both ways. Yeah, of course. There was this. There was this article showing the most, like, most ten most richest women. And I think um, <laughs> I've seen this. I think eight, to eight or nine of them. Do you know how they got there? Yeah, only divorce. Fans. Nope, divorce. Through divorce. divorce. One, only one of them was like a su- successful um, business owner. The mm. rest of them got there through divorce. Thanks, wow. Jim. Thinking Bezos is missing. Yeah, right? become the richest woman overnight. Yeah, the richest woman in the world overnight. Who? Jeff Bezos. Yeah. So exactly. what happens when you're a geek? Can you get them into money? You don't sign a prenup. Apparently, they actually they actually did it for tax reasons and stuff like that. He would. He's got probably. The, he's probably the most lawyered up person. Uh, yeah. That very. I doubt it very much. He didn't have a prenup or something. Place. Did, Apparently, they did it for tax reasons and everything. Like, there's all. Yeah, there would have mental. been a million percent. There's no way on God's earth that guy who's a multi billionaire wouldn't have been lawyered up to the eyeballs with stuff that he could have got. Made sure that his <sighs> wealth was protected. Never. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Never, ever, ever. You always got to protect yourself. Unfortunately, I always say it. It's a marriage is like a partnership. That's how you got to look at it. It is. It's a it business. Is. Red flag or green flag. She goes out with her girls and um, she hasn't texted you back. And then she comes home and you say to her, like, you're not, you've not texted me back. And she says, I just don't go on my phone. Oh, red, red, flag. Flag. Yeah, that red is flag. flag. That's a massive red Definitely. flag. I but, think so too. Because yeah, you know she goes on her phone. 
Like, why are you saying that? All right. Or she's been hiding her phone for a reason. Do you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, of course. Red flag, green flag. Your girl goes on a girl's night out, doesn't post any stories, but yet you see her on her friend's story on a table. Oh, oh that's, fuck. A, that's a that's a red flag. Yeah, man, me. that's 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 front door lock. You ain't getting in. Like that's, I said, front door lock. Do you want me to put that please. Up? That's a. Uh, oh, that's that's. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's, cheating. that's, cheating. that cheating. that's horrible. That that's is. awful. Like, You've seen that's... a bird on a table from someone else's story. She's yeah. not put any stories up all night. I've been someone off for that, bro. I yeah, I could. I'd yeah, been, I'd, I'd generally been someone off for that. I don't like the idea of my woman on, a, uh, on another man's table. Yeah, you know, I've been it off without you there as well. If you're there, calm, but if you're not. I don't like, uh, well, hang on. Ooh, hang on, because that's. What? Go on. <laughs> we, like, because. We because if when we're out mm. and we're on holidays, we'll have tables and there will be birds on it. Whether you're in a relationship or not, there will be birds on that table. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what if she's turned around saying, why are there birds on your table? You can't then argue if she's out on Marbella with her mates or whatever. For Should her we go to Marbella? Hendo, you can't. On a hendo <laughs> and she's there and all of a sudden there's geezers on the table for a single mate. It's like, how, like, how do you navigate that conversation? <clears throat> I'd like to think I wouldn't be in that situation, bro. If my if my bird's my bird, like she's probably gonna roll with us to certain things. No, yeah, no, no, that's not me. Maybe not IB, but like realistically, like if we all wiped up, we got an IB. Yeah, for I mean, yeah, yeah, you could, you, us four could go if we all had birds. Us four could go to IB with our birds. Of course, you could. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, I agree. But would we go like as lads? We're always lads. What do you mean? Yeah. So we're all wiped not cheating up. on my bird, bro. What? All wiped up, and we're still bowling through our beef. Yeah, I've got some friends that still do that all together. They all got birds. Yeah, I would never stop not going to beef because I've got a bird. All the, all the boys that DJ for boat club, they all go away together. Yeah. Every single one of them. Nothing, got birds. nothing to my life would change What's apart from I've just got an extension onto my life. There's nothing wrong with that. that. Obviously, the lads' holiday would get less. Of course, they would naturally, but I'd still go to beef with the boys. Yeah, definitely. Wouldn't be the same with it. What the? What was the question again? I said so the question. Like the base, the thing around it was, would we? Would you? Do I when I do you when? Where you're basically saying that your bird couldn't be in that scenario, couldn't be on a table with fellas on it, mm-hmm. but we'd be on a table somewhere for our mate's birthday, and whether, whether we're in a relationship or not, the single boys would have girls on that table. Yeah, but the difference is, sorry, I was just going to quickly say this. I feel like the difference is, them men are all going to be trying to, um, like, all, all those guys on that table are going to try to sleep with your missus. Where if there's girls on your table when you're in that relationship, you're not necessarily going to. Try to. That's you cannot say that. You can. can. Okay, sorry, no, sorry. Yeah, you can say that the guys are going to be trying. Yeah, but yeah. if she's good enough, she'd be like, "Fuck off, mate." Like, yeah, but I don't like the thought of that. But you can't have one rule, one for we, the other. Though, women bro. a little bit more vulnerable. Yes, you can. Yes, you no, can. Oh, you men are salesmen. Work. Women are marketers. They're marketing themselves to be approached by men. Men are out there to like try and find potential candidates that they can chop. So it's a completely different scenario. The girls don't go out and chat with boys up, do they? It doesn't matter, boys. You, you, like, like, oh, no, you, can't, you cannot great. have one rule for one and one for them. I'm sorry, you can't do it. Do you remember that screenshot I sent you of that girl going in at me? She, we was yeah. having this exact conversation. She was like, you're wrong. She was like, and she said it herself. She was like, women are worse than men. They are. She was like, women will throw themselves at you, especially yeah. if you've got a little bit of clarity and you good looking. We understand so, that. Yeah. Again, I, I agree with you to the majority part of it, but then I do <laughs> think like women are just as bad as men nowadays. And just because you're... Yeah, but a, they want, a, a woman won't. Doesn't mean that she's, she's going to cheat, cheat on you, bro. That's it. Yeah, what, right, that's we've had it. this conversation so many times. You, you actually let your bird go into that kind of environment without you? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that. Like, if she's going to cheat on me, bro, if she's going to cheat on me, like that's, that's not the it. point, bro. End off. See you later. That's not the point. If you had a Bugatti with good, good locks in the car, you still wouldn't leave it in the hood, though, would you? Yeah, but I'd, yeah, I would. What? Because I'm rich enough for it to be insured, then I'd sort it out. Like, no, you wouldn't want that inconvenience of the arguments, the inconvenience of calling up the insurance company, getting your car back from the impound. That's why you see fucking. Not beautiful motors parked up up London in fucking on red lanes and fucking double yellows and they'll get a ticket yeah, in good bothered. areas it's not the hood the, re- the hood doesn't have red double red lines it's got shots nah, it's, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't, it, it, you wouldn't would... it wouldn't like don't get wrong there's a difference in letting your bird go out all the time but if she says like so mate's 30th and they all all going to our beef I'll be like yeah, all right, sweet. Yeah, but you trust the locks in your car, right? But you still wouldn't leave it with your bag in the back seat. So what, I don't get what you're trying to say, though. You, you trust your girl, but you still wouldn't put her into that environment. What, so you're saying, no, you're not going? Yeah, I would, 100%. Oh, then I think you're an idiot. What about you, Merck? I don't know, man. It's a difficult one. I'd like to think she probably wouldn't want to go herself. No, that's not what, what the scenario is. to her mate's birthday? That's not the scenario. You might, you no, that, I'm sorry, brother. You are sounding like a narcissist now. Who is? You are. <laughs> 
I'm sounding like a narcissist. Yeah, I'm sorry, Robert, you do Why? sound stuff like that. Because you're trying to say, no, you're not going. I yeah, think I would say that. That is a complete narcissistic... No, it's not. Yeah, it is, bro. No, it's not. I wouldn't let... Ozzy, would you let your woman go to Marbella on the girls' holiday? It depends on the scenario. Girls' holiday. I didn't say a girls' holiday, though, did I? I but, think it just no, depends so on so the would you scenario. Let you, okay, great. Right? You didn't say that. Would you let your girlfriend, your girlfriend go to a uh, girls' holiday in Marbella? Uh, it would depend on the scenario, though. Well, I don't know. She's just going on the girls' holiday. Who are your girls' holiday? Stop be... change scenario. She's going on a girls' holiday with her friends to Marbella. Are you letting her go? Yes or no? I wouldn't be. Happy and I said about the word letting as well mm. for all you motherfuckers. Go on. Is it bank holiday? <laughs> it's bank holiday. Yeah. Go on. Probably not. No. Now who's a narcissist? It's funny how that changed quickly, isn't it? No, oh, yeah, I'd still yeah, say it, bruv. Yeah, I mean, I'd still say it was like who, like you. So you in my eyes, bruv, I couldn't like I couldn't give a fuck because if she's gonna cheat, bruv, she's gonna fucking cheat, and that's it. Like I will cut you off whether I've been with you for five years or five. Why minutes, would bruv. you even potentially risk that? Like, like you love this person, why are you gonna let it go into a hostile? You trying to say we can't be tempted when we're away in front of birds? Of course we can be tempted, but we've, we're fueled right. with testosterone. It's completely different. It's completely different. We've got a dick, mate. Like we're completely exactly. Different. So if anything, we're far more tempted than a bird's gonna be. Exactly. That's why the scenario is different because we're going to them places for them things. Why? Would you, so you know that. You know there's yeah, exactly. So she has to say yes. Well, though. Wait, that's so, the difference. Yeah, exactly. But you you know what these environments are like. How many girls do we know have cheated on their boyfriends? Yeah, but how many boys do we know have cheated on their birds? There's loads on. But you two are staying silent in the argument. I've asked I'm not staying silent. I'll answer. Yes it. or no? I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't mind her going, but then I'd, it just depends. Like. If she was, this is the thing, you have to add more context to it. I would have stopped my woman of going on holiday. No, I wouldn't stop my woman going on holiday. But I wouldn't want her to put herself in certain environments like my bank, I would, I'll be honest. Thank you, that's what I said. I would never stop my girlfriend going on holiday, ever. Mm. If she's going said. to these environments, why? Yeah. Why are you going? You know what these environments are like. There's men like me there. Why would you want to go there? That's weird. Out of all it. places you can go, those are probably the most yeah. like, The worst, yeah. The most, Ibiza like, and Marbella are the worst, yeah. I wouldn't say I'd be for. I'd be for now. <laughs> what? I'll be for now. Uh, bro, that's the first year it's ever been like that. In, oh, in, in, oh, you know, yo, you got to admit that, bro. Oh, we didn't go the previous year. No, it depends on how you roll through, I'll be for, bro. Like, it, people will fucking chop for days out there. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. No, 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 I think you're wrong, bro. No, bro. What do you mean? I think you're wrong, Where bruv. would you feel most comfortable letting your missus I'd much rather my bird go to a big bag 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 fucking, What the bag dad you say? <laughs> I don't care, bro. I'm not... Look, come on, there's, arm, one arm, you. there's 197 countries... Why are you going to that yeah, specific place? I wouldn't place. want a bird that wants to go places like that. Yeah, right, so now, you so see, I just got called yeah, a narcissist. I wouldn't, stop, yeah, I wouldn't stop, because you're saying, no, I wouldn't let yes, her go. Yes, I wouldn't, no, you're right. I wouldn't let her go. No, you, you're you not going. If you want to go on that holiday, you're not with me anymore. If you're going to Marbella with your girls, partying on that holiday, you're no longer with me. You, I'm not chaining you to the bed. You can go and do what you want, but you will no longer be with me. End of story. What about Dubai? No, she can go, of course. You wouldn't mind her going no, to Dubai? No, of course, yeah, Dubai's sweet. Mm. Mars Carl. There's more to offer in Dubai. Like with Marbella, you are Life literally style. there. Marbella, you're going for that reason. You're, you're going on them tables. You're going to yeah. get drunk with your girls, let your hair down, and become a slag. Yeah, he's got, the, he's, he's got a point. Most good yeah, women, no, yeah, yeah, 100% he's most got a point. Most good women 100%. will agree, and all the slags will disagree with yeah, us. Yeah, facts. It is, it is what it is. It is. It is what it is. My girl can go wherever she wants, but party destinations where I know what it's like, no. I, know, I understand what goes on. There's men like me. Men like me. There's no, there's no need to go. How about how about well, how about say we're out there and her group and her friends are out there at the same time? No way. No way. What do you mean? No so way. So say we're going we're rolling to Marbella. I know what you meant. Why, why do you mean no way? Well, you want to be on that in that place in that with her. I wouldn't want to be, and I think it's kind of weird. But if it just so happens like she's on a Hindu and I'm on a stag do, and it, we're both on the same place, same time, fucking so be. Oh, that's a it? very specific scenario. Why else would you be? Why else would two well, groups be I there? I don't know. That's what you're saying. Like, just imagine you just that's the only it. logical scenario I can think of why that would why, happen. Because I'll go it? if that happened, I'll go. Why the fuck are you booked to go to my bed at the same time as I'm going to the boys? I pull on that. Like, what the fuck? But she's going, oh, my Hindus then. I can't control oh, well, it. That's obviously, well, that's, the, that's obviously the only reason why she'd be going. Why else would she go on the same holiday of her friends as me? That's Never weird. Know. Keep an eye on you. I, I would. I would that's her... what I'm saying. No, this, see, that's what I mean. That's fucking weird. That, if my bird turned up on my lad's holiday, I'm, I'm probably ending it. Really? <laughs> yeah, mad. Yeah, bruv. Like turning up. Yeah, bruv. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm ending you. it. Bello. Not, no, not telling me. Just turns oh. up. Hi. Hi. I so said, I would like, respond like, no, bro. What are you doing, bro? That's weird. Did you say if it's a Hindu, you don't, you're, you're not like, uh, you're not stopping her from going for to No, of course. In all that being said, I'll, I'll, yeah. Fuck me. Might as well shit in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want a bird that wants to go to them places anyway, regardless. Right, one minute ago, you just called him a narcissist. <laughs> because what you were saying was narcissist. No, it wasn't. I just said exactly what I just said now. I just, but I just wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be a bird who wants to go but to But she did. She anyway. said she, all of a sudden she now wants to go. <clears throat> 
Oh, no, sis. Look, no, you're not... No, I'm not stopping her from going. Like I said, I would never try and stop her. Oh, man, you got to deal with the heartbreak then, mate. Narcissistic kings. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's narcissistic. I'm not controlling it. I don't really think it is you either. Want a, you want a homebody? Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's what you want. I want a homebody who wants to go travel with her friends and stuff, but I know what these environments are like. Like I said, you trust but the where box. can they travel then? Because boys, even like... What do you mean, where go, can they travel? That's what I'm saying. Hang on, let me fucking finish. Because even girls that want to go and just tra- travel Asia, like or just a nice part to go and see the Philippines, go and see like, Malaysia, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean... No matter, like we said, no matter where you go in the world, yeah. there's parties happening. Of course there is, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter where you are, you can go to fucking... He has a point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there like, is. No matter where you go, they can bump into geezers, have a drink in a bar, meet someone, good looking fella. Bosh. Okay, right. The difference is, I'll give you... I a, get it. Of course, it's one extreme. Oh no, obviously that one, is an extreme. Right. I'll tell you, give you an example, but paints the picture perfectly. For the viewers who don't know, I have to go in more depth. You know the day we was in Phuket and we went to go and film the podcast mm-hmm. and we walked through that beach club... Mm-hmm. To get to the beach, mm-hmm. that beach club resembles a similar setup to Ocean Beach. However, it's nowhere near as hostile as Ocean Beach. I wouldn't give if my bird was in that beach. You can the caliber of men, the people that are about, what's going on. It was good music, good drinks, nice setting, but it wasn't hostile. You know what these environments then, are like. But then look at that. Look at that. We um, were there. No, we weren't. We weren't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you got one group in Ibiza. There is about forty groups of men just like us. Good shape, good chat, got money, popping bottles. The environment is he- techie, bruv. Like, but, it's mad. But look at that story we heard the other day. Yeah, wow. What story? She yeah, she's travelling. Yeah, but nice places. She's, 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 not, you're not even no, she's in... not. She's travelling. She's backpacking. Host- she's in hostels. No. You're not surrounded by, usually not surrounded by, you're usually surrounded by fucking... Yeah, but you give enough time and enough temptation on these trips away, bruv, you're going to cave. Exactly my point, bruv. It don't matter where She's away is. for six months, bruv. Like we said, would well, you wouldn't let your bird go travelling for six months. Yeah, no, not in a million oh, So yeah. there you go. That's not going to happen then, is it? It took it took her three months to cave. The point is though... Like, See my point? point? She didn't just though, pop to the Philippines for two weeks and come home. If... Yeah. All right, if, if you like you was with someone... Thank you. If you was with someone... Mm-hmm. And um, even if you knew categorically she's not going to cheat, I don't think it would still be nice for her to be putting herself in those environments. Like, yeah, you, no can go, you can go to anywhere you want to, like like we said, but if you're specifically just want to go to fucking Marbs. And, like, yeah, it's think, weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. 100%. But some people won't cheat, but they love the attention of other people. I yeah. still think that's like a... Like, yeah, but I wouldn't be a woman like that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but you're 100% right. Yeah, 100% right. I'd always want to go Ibiza though, no matter what, even when I'm fucking in my late 30s. I think yeah, you a, can. Yeah, it's a bit different. Ibiza is a completely different scene. Like you can Sorry. just go there just because you, you just love yeah. the music. You can. You can treat Whereas Marbella is like, you're not going there for the music. Really. No, you're not no he's there. right. Like you're going just to get fucked up. I would want my birds to look at places like that and be like, oh, I'd never go somewhere like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't roll, I'd yeah. like to roll with them. I think it'd be funny. What about Miami? Well, I don't think I'd roll with my birds. Nah, like my that. What about Miami? What about it? You, know, you better go to Miami. No. I've never been, so I can't. No, right. oh, I've been. It's, it's techie, bro. I can't comment. Miami's worse. Like, Miami's like, just... It's yeah, bad. Not, not happening, mate. I'd love to go to our beef with a bird, though. Yeah, it'd be so fun, bro. Like my actual missus. I've done it. It's not good. Red flag oh, or green flag. Uh, she goes on the yacht. Nah, yeah, yeah, but that's not birds like that, bro. I know birds that smash our beef, do you know what I mean? I know birds that have it hard enough, bro. I don't want to be with a bird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't give up. Come on, I'm off for the call on that. Babe, I can't. She's like, no, come on, do it. I can't. I don't want to be with a bird like that, boys. Oh, yeah, no way, mate. No way. But I'd love a bird to go out there and fucking. I'd like to go out with a bird, bird though, but yeah. I don't want to go with my bird. Just like a bit oh, of no, a, I could, I'd like to go with my bird. A bit of old town. Oh, no, oh, that, I can, I can get behind that. Turn. Yeah. Like a bit of a oh, oh, Not every day we've got a DC turn fucking having it, bro. Fuck that, Yeah, no, no, no. But I'd like her to get to. Yeah, I'd like, I would like to go out there with a bird. I'd love us for one day to have four birds and go to a big. I think that'd be epic, mate. Fucking stupid. You go for nice meals. You go down like um, Calabasas Beach, <clears throat> then you go to some nice raids, like some good other proper nice raids. Yeah, I, I get behind that. You know what I'm saying? I get behind that. I can we'd all come back single. No. no. We'll end up swapping. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. I see you know your judo well. <laughs> Mandem, you're obviously enjoying the pod so far, otherwise you would not be here, but you're still not subscribing. Why the fuck not? It's not difficult. Just hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to it. Red flag or green flag? She never ever offers to pay. Red flag. Red flag. Ooh. Yeah, red flag. As much as I want to pay, there should be still an, an offer. offer. Yeah, an offer. An a million offer, percent. Yeah. Like something I really like, kind of observe if I've ever taken a bird out. I really liked a girl that I take, took out three times. She never once asked me, do you want anything? And I stopped speaking to her because of it. And I actually fucking told her as well. I had something similar. She never said thank you about anything. Yeah, it didn't go oh, down. Bad, bad manners. Man. Bad manners on a bird, bruv. It's it, one of the worst. Little, like, it, was, it wasn't like, it was just like food and little things or just like, 
I go to the shop and get her saying, because she never said thank you, brother. And I clocked on it after like a few times of doing it, and I was like, this person never said thank you. Do you know what I think that's down to? Bad upbringing. It's, no, it, it comes. It, it becomes from the. It's from the father. So like when when I'm, obviously like what's that? Who is their? Who is a woman's first love? It's their dad. Mm. And I think when certain men, they're obsessed with their daughters. They love them. Obviously, they want to protect them. But then they like kind of give them that princess treatment. Mm. So they have an expectation of this is how I need to be treated. This is how the standard of a man should has to look after me. So when a, when she meets someone that gives her less than that, it doesn't work out. She'll just end up being that's guy an expectation. That- yeah, she'll end up being the geezer that she just walks all over. She still needs to say thank you. Yeah, agreed. For everything. I say thank you. For, I say Anything. thank you for everything. Yeah. To anyone, everywhere. Please and thank yous. Yeah, please. I please and thank you everyone. Doesn't matter where I am. Petrol stations. Doesn't, mm. doesn't matter the setting. I say please and thank you for everything. Red flag, green flag. Like, she insists that you go to somewhere proper swanky and like, what's the word I'm looking for? Posey. Posy on a first date. Red flag. Red flag. Off. Get it in the bin. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're gonna have no money left. You're gonna be skint. Red flag. Red flag. 100%. Yeah, red flag. Red I, wouldn't, flag. I wouldn't do that anyway. No. I don't know if I want to take you to this place yet. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm trying to say mm. most girls will understand that as well. If they, uh, don't, they don't, you know, they're in know it, these they're days, in, man. Why? Well, like, so you get the insecure ones on TikTok. Like, oh, he's not. T- he's not putting any effort in. It's not that. They know it's not that. I think if someone wants to meet me and truly wants to meet me for me, they don't it care shouldn't really meet, matter yeah. where we go to. As long as I'm not taken to a crack den, which I'm not gonna do that. But if we're going to just like a normal little bar, then by all means, I think you should be okay with that. If I'm getting you there safely and I'm getting you home, if you're coming there and I'm getting you home safely, it doesn't matter. Not leaving them in shopping centres or nothing. Well, it depends. If she looks clapped or she doesn't look like a pictures, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I do yeah. understand that. Just don't catfish people. No, no catfish yeah, is... That's naughty, man. Yeah. There's less... Okay. Red flag, green flag. She doesn't look like her photos on Instagram. Yeah, red, red flag, flag. you'll get left outside Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a red flag, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's a red Face flag. Face app's yeah. dangerous nowadays. I don't get it. I really don't fucking get they it. They look like, so weird. Do you not think, like, when you turn up that he's going to look at you, or even vice versa, if, um, guys don't really do it, but he's going to look at you and go, why do you not look like your photo? Mm. Like, you're not bringing the Hudson filter with you, bruv. Like, why do you want to do that? Like, you're not managing expectations. You're over fucking promising and under delivering on the way you fucking look. That's yeah. not the person I came to meet. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it does work both ways though. I, I, very, yeah. very, 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 very rare cases I've seen men. What use face app? No, worse. Edit abs onto their body. Yeah, oh well, th- there's been a few occasions where I spoke to women about this and they've said, yeah, he's not as good looking as his photos, but it's very rare because I don't feel like we edit our photos to a point we're changing our jaw and this, that and the other. We the only re- thing I've ever done was my eye was smaller than the other and I've made it fucking bigger <laughs> and add a bit of saturation, a bit of colour. Well, saturation isn't edited. That's, 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 like that. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, what, that's what I've of done. Course. But apart from that, I'm not changing so it's my a little fucking filter jaw. of toning in yeah. terms of colour. That's, that's normal. It. That's colour correction. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're doing ev- Anyone that's in production knows you need to colour correct any image yeah, that's taken that's on the okay. phone. That's normal. That's fine. And we can't get away with changing our photos anyway. Yeah, and we're on video as well. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. We can't, we can't ever get away with it. On one day, we've got to turn up. We've turned up 52 weeks of the year. No matter how we've looked to come on yeah. this fucking camera. Yeah. 52 <laughs> weeks. Me and you have turned up with bloated faces, bro. Oh, Fuck, mate. You know. Uh, no, no shaving, no hair. I turned up a cold sore for these, pod, and I had to cover it up. <laughs> I had to cover you weren't going to do it, was it? I wasn't. I was side. I was like, boys, I ain't doing this pod. No way. Luckily, I did. That was a big pod. That's yeah. when we had fucking phones, so you couldn't see because the quality. Yeah, that's, that's I do it, think yeah. that's the thing with boys. Like, boys, it is just like uh, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Not all boys, but yeah. yeah for the yeah. most part. Mm. Do you think women feel like that, though, because of social media? They feel like they have to Pressure. really be competing. Yeah, yeah. for sure, man. Like, uh, They're it, so conscious. Especially if they've like come to a certain age. There's so many young girls nowadays that are editing their photos and they're obviously like in shape, etc. X, Y, Z. Do do you think like women have it more harder through social media that they need to be competing with other girls to look a certain way I to think get validation from men? I think that's only in their own head. Yeah, of course, but everything's in but, your own like, head. Exactly. So, but that's what it's got to be from. <laughs> no, but like that's, that's what I mean. That's on you as an individual. Like, if you wanna, if you feel as though you need to compete to look like X, Y, Z, that's on you. Yeah, but that's that's come from societal pressure, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, you can't help how you feel. No, because I know. Gorgeous girls that couldn't give a fuck about social media. Yeah. Where, where are they? Do you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I'm just not big on the gram. I don't, I'm not, I'm not bothered by it. They're some of the happiest, yeah, yeah, happiest yeah, people. Yeah. Definitely, bro. So I do know stunning girls. It's like, I'm not, I'm not interested in, in social media at all. 
So it is just down to the individual and what they're trying to do. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Red flag, green flag. She has a high following. Oh, I don't think that's a red flag. I think it's I a red means... flag depending on how they've got it and what why they've got it yeah, for. Yeah, perhaps that. They're just very like very hot. I'd be more concerned about who they're following. Yeah, I can, deal I, with, I can deal with having a bird with a high following, but it depends on the reason they've got it. If it's just because they're good looking, then I can park that. They're good looking, they've got a little side business. Yeah, that's yeah. calm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But they've got it through like OnlyFans and have no, obviously not. Minja, then I have to park that, bruv. No, we're just saying a high, high following count. That's yeah. it. I don't it's think that's a bad me. thing. It'd be bothering me if she wants every two seconds, she's want to take photos everywhere you go. Like, you get a photo of me here, you get a photo of me here. It's like, fuck yeah, off. But what if that's for her business though? Yeah, well, she's making money off it. Okay, that's, that's completely different. different. Yeah. Okay, red flag, red flag, green flag. It's not a business, but she's got bikini photos all over Instagram. That's a red, red flag, flag to me. Red flag for me as well. I don't want every every other fucking geezer seeing what my bird looks like in just underwear, man. Here, yeah, and, here and there's all right, but not everything. What? Here and there. Nah, man. I wouldn't want a girl. I wouldn't want my girl to post an actual bikini photo like, on her feed. Stories and stuff is a bit different when she's on holiday and stuff. That could be seen as narcissistic. Fucking narcissistic. Why is that? You're not letting her post what she wants. Her body. I didn't say she can't. I just said my view on it would be a red flag. <laughs> you said I wouldn't want my missus doing that. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my missus going on there. Yeah, yeah, no, do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, check, oh, yeah, check, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't want it on a, on a full feed. I would not want that, man. Yeah, that's... I, mean, I, 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 wouldn't, I couldn't it. Do it depends how like. often it is, bro. If, it's, if, it, if you're on holiday together and you've, like, taken a photo, you're, like, I don't think it's that deep. Do you but... know what it also depends on, though? It's how they take that photo. Like, there's certain photos girls can take on a holiday where it's completely revering mm. their fucking chocolate starfish or, like, coming out of the water doing a madness. Like, if she's taking a bikini photo and she's got, like, a nice... She's, it's subtle, like, got a little cute bag by a little fucking palm tree. Yeah. Got a yeah, little yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. okay. It's yeah. all about how that po um, how that photo is posted. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, like... It's not how it was taken. It was how it was posted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the intensity behind it. Yeah. Like, I mean... Do you, do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, 100%. Like, of course. You, how many, like, bikini photos have you may seen and go, it's very, like, normal? Uh, that you don't think anything of it. Yeah, and there's yeah. some of them, you're like, fuck me. Like, you want someone to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these birds you look at, you're like, fucking hell. I want yeah. It. yeah but, and then some you're like, oh, she looks, she looks beautiful. Yeah, she yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Really nice bikini, yeah. hair done. Yeah, I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? There's different yeah. styles, like that you said. Sure. I was seeing. Classy. Was like that. Yeah. And I didn't mind it. I was like, that looks okay. Like, it looks very tame. It looks very nice. Like a neat, neat profile. Because we do judge each other off the back of the socials. Yeah. Mm. And I thought, that's not too bad. But then when you've got your little bummer out, I think it's too much. I agree. Mm. Yeah, you know? it's the style of photo. Style Ma of massive. Photo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you that. Red, red flag or green flag, her ex-boyfriend was a Premier League football player. Fucking off, we went. Yeah, it's got to be a red flag, isn't it? Well, why? Why is it red flag? Though? Let's dive into why. Is it because you're threatened by the competition? No, because we can't give the same lifestyle. So you are threatened by it. I'm not threatened by it. You're threatened by it. It's a realistic view. But I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, I know my work. I know my point. Table. I can't compete with that in terms of monetary value. But then there's a reason she's not with him as well. But that, that's yeah, because that could be because of him. He fucked her off. No, he's no, chopping other birds all the time. Yeah. No, like yeah. we know what. Let's just say we go by the stereotypical fact of what uh, footballers are like. They cheat and then they just fuck about. They've got a lot of money. They do X, Y, Z. A woman could pretty much leave a man in that from that caliber. And I would rate a woman if she could do that because she's seen beyond the sponsorship. She's going. This guy's not treating me right. He's doing X, Y, Z. So I'm going to fuck it off. So I don't think that's a red that's flag. That's not how it works, bro. Yeah, it does. It's not. That's well, why you... these. But they, that's why girls go for these bad guys and oh, then yeah, but, another bad yeah, but guy, I'm another bad guy, because they're used to the fucking chaos, bro. If she's leaving a footballer, she's not going to settle with some fucking normal yeah, but yeah, but you're creating a certain uh, uh, hypothetical that's scenario. So am I. Bro. I'm just saying there could be a read like if if a, if a woman leaves a footballer. Yeah. It's not just because of that reason, is what I'm saying. There's two ends of the spectrum. Yeah. But I think you got to right? think that she's got with that type of person for a reason as well. She's yeah. been used to this lifestyle for three, four years. She's not going to come back to a normal lifestyle. And she'll always be checking. She'll always be looking for who's next. But, okay, let, let's answer it in a way. Like, right now, I don't think I could compete with that. So no. I wouldn't want that. What if you was in a position I where still you still wouldn't? You still wouldn't. Oh, you, what? What if you're a millionaire? <laughs> no, I don't think I would. What? I That's the only caliber of women you're going to be kind of attracted to. I don't, that want, point I don't want that, bro. I, don't, like, I wouldn't do what Ronaldo done to pick some random bird from the shop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want a bird that's not experienced loads of shit, mate. Trust okay, me. I, I, well, I get I, that. I, I agree. Get that. Yeah, I agree. Do get so that. I don't want a bird that's been with a footballer, bro. Okay, I understand okay, what you're yeah, saying. I get it. It's yeah. too high profile, no. Fuck that. Don't want it. No, I get it. I get it. We've played the Sunday League. That's sweet, then, bro. I do get it. I do get it. You don't want a bird that's been in like fucking some famous guy's ex, bro. You don't want to be running around like that. Red flag, green flag. She sits and drinks wine of an evening on her own indoors. Red flag. Or every night. 
Most like my brother. Most people I know, because of the work environment, go home from night, every, uh, go home from work at night, and have a glass of wine every night, or a bottle of wine. Some have bottles no, of wine. Still every nice, night. Bro. Well, you're sitting at home. She walks in from work. She's like, oh, I need a glass of wine. Yeah, I need a bottle. She opens up a bottle of rosé and just starts sit, sitting there with a pint of rosé, drinking like, who doing pint on a Tuesday night? Ozzy's gonna defend it. He's like, no, that's fine. I like wine. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, not every fucking night. Ozzy goes, no, no, not that bottle. No, <laughs> no you don't deserve the Rioja. I really fancy a glass of wine now. I've been drinking every night. It's just a fucking. I think I've, I think drinking every night. On that's a problem, bro. Men Anyone, and yeah. women is a red flag. Problem. Yeah. That's a that's a. But just you know crazy. If that was normal sixty years ago, it's, mate, it is. I say most most people drink most nights of the week. I know. That's horrendous, bro. They do, yeah. But then if you look at most people, that's why they're so out of shape and they look like shit. And they're broke. Just funny how people are broke but they can afford fags and alcohol all the time. (laughs) Yeah. Well, funny that, isn't it? It's true. Did you not see when we were at the corner shop a minute ago to get um, bottles of water? That woman would come in she bought a bottle of red wine. It's it's, it's Monday night, bro. (laughs) But do you know what it is, though? You've got to think of it from the perspective of a lot of these people don't have a lot going for them either. Mm, I get that. That's like some people's getaway. It's just not necessarily just getaway, but... I get it. I get it. I do get it. There's a certain dopamine that they receive off the back of it. Like, we're so busy with our lifestyle, with what we're trying to do. We're busy, so you ain't got time to be drinking every fucking night. Where some people, the average person ain't got a fucking clue what they're doing. So they they kind of occupy their time doing these certain things. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you not think it's a bit sad? Of course yeah, it, yeah, is. it is, but it depends on their age. Like, say, like your parents, if they're having like a few wines, of, like, what else are they going to be doing? My parents don't drink. My dad, no, my, my dad goes to the pub probably once a week. My, parents my, pa- my mom doesn't ever drink. I've seen my mom drunk twice in my whole life. I don't remember mine either, to be honest. My mom's no, got nothing going on though. <laughs> I'm so happy though. She's, my mom's just so my mom tuffs a lot. Yeah, I think that's I think that's culture. It is, bro. That's culture. That's hereditary. I hate it so much. On the balcony. <laughs> Mate, you work about six thirty, fucking vaping, you fat prick. That's it's five. Five. Five thirty. First of all, it's fucking four a.m. Mate. First of all, it was four a.m. because you farted on the bed and it was like a tractor on there. And then second of all, you work about five thirty on your fucking phone, we're looking at TikToks and vaping. You're, you've got you're a, a skank. Yeah, you're a skank. You got a TikTok a... brain, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Red flag, green flag. She doesn't go to the gym. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Um, Red flag. Red flag. She's going to be all Red soft. Flag. You, uh, I'm in an iron about. Yeah. What happens if she can't physically go because she's not able to? I'm gonna be this, with guy, her, this guy, bro. This guy, bro. What do you mean she's not able to? You know why I say There's that? There's girls because... in. I've seen girls at JD Hempstead, bro. They're in wheelchairs, mate. All right, boys. Tell you what, round it off then. Um, what is one red flag all of you have encountered no, once in your life? Sorry. You... Go on, say it again. I cut you up. That's my bad. What is one red flag all of you have encountered in your life? You've got that was the ultimate like, whoa, that was that like fucking turned you off that person immediately. Poor hygiene. Have well, you seen that? Well, you've actually had that. Well, like, something you've experienced. Yeah, you've experienced. About. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've only seen like two girls in my life. So I'm, I'm not basing on them two. I'm talking about I'm on a, on a date or I'm interacting with a bird and she's like, a d- oh, plaque on her teeth or dirty nails or dirty clothes or dirty mm. shoes. Dirty trainers are oh, rough. So like, p- I put that all in a category as hygiene. Like if you've got poor, oh, don't get, if you've got a bit of mud on your shoe, like a tiny bit, like because you just walked to come There's meet me. difference in that and dirty trainers. Yeah, dirty trainers, non-presentable. If you're not presentable and you're not hy- hygienic, that I can't stand bad hygiene. So hygiene's red, biggest red flag. Non-negotiable, can't deal with it. Yeah, I agree I think with that. that should be vice versa. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Oh yeah, of course, man and women, million mm. percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Not just men. I, when I see men out and they've got dirt under their nails, I'm like, bruv. Or they've got long nails with dirt on them. I'm like, bruv, sort your life out, bruv. What are you Oof. doing? Smelly breath. Mm. Shit fucking beard's all fucked, mate. Yeah, beard's all fucked. Like, scruffy. Oh, this is scruffy. Fucking... Why? We're talking about men now, boys. Yeah, no, <laughs> but still, you're red flag for girls. Go on, you boys need to answer. But I said bad hygiene. Red flag for girls, yeah. I genuinely think for me now, only because I found a passion for it for like the last couple, few, two, three years probably, is just some sort of fitness. Like, I'd love a, me, for me, I'd love a bird who like, genuinely enjoys or loves running. If, like, I'd like to go running with me or something like that. So specific, bro. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Should be built horribly, bro. <laughs> You would not, bruv. Swimmers, runners and swimmers, unless they're sprinters, that's um, built shit, man. <laughs> this guy, it, he's bro. not wrong. He's but not swimmers, wrong. Yeah, they're all fucking hey, say, bro. No. Fuck off, bro. Sprint, sprint, sprinters are bro. built different. They're, bruv, that's why, that's why if you think about it, when you're I'm not, fit. I'm not, who's talking about sprinting? You ain't gonna see me fucking sprinting, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If you wife a fucking marathon runner, she's gonna be a fucking, uh, not a good look, bro. Mo Farah. 
It's just not a good look, Mo Farah body, ch- body type. Birds with right? the best, best athletes, the fittest ones, do like the short fucking in, like intense ones. There's no fucking marathon runner that's leng, bruv. Built like fuck. But, oh, no, what are you talking about? The, the sprinters are the ones that are probably built. wants to have a bit that fucking does marathons, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go running now. Uh, so what, just going for wait, a did you just get your point across? What are you saying? Yeah, someone who don't want to get up off their ass and do fuck all of their life. Yeah, that's, that's no, that's, that's very... Fitness or life, like yeah, I can take that as fitness then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, la- okay, someone who's lazy. Mm. If I saw, if I know someone that's laziness, like and just generally, especially when it comes to that, like again, just wants to go home after work, sit in bed, watch Netflix, and eat what sits and oh, do right, fuck right. all. Yeah, that is a massive red flag for me. Like yeah. moody, doesn't want to get up early in the mornings. Yeah, don't want to get up out and active and do something like just fucking. Nah, I don't want to sit in and watch this. I want to watch my. I want to watch my series. Yeah, no, oh, fuck that. Fuck red off, flag. Mate. I couldn't yeah. think of anything worse, bro. That is shit yeah. life. no way in it. I need to get back and watch that. Oh, oh, oh I've got fuck off, bro. No way. I agree. Don't so, watch any telly apart from a good film every now and again. It's a very good, easy way to make a man fall out of love with you. That. Yeah. Easy, bro. Laziness. Mm. That is my pet. That is it. That is my red, my red flag. Laziness. That is awful. Like girls who have messy bedrooms. You see these girls who put photos up and they've got the bedroom in it and it's a fucking state, bro. You're like, how are you walking into your bedroom? You've got shit all over the place, mate. <laughs> I've been around a bird's house before, bro. It's been horrible, like that. isn't it? Men's beds not made, clothes all over the floor, this and that there. Makeup on the dresser table. Yeah, just a mess, mate. Like, how are you even putting a photo up like that as well? Yeah. Showing everyone your room they, is a mess. They don't, they don't care. They don't they know any better. Yeah, just don't, yeah, not, yeah, so that for me, laziness in all forms for me is an absolute fucking no. Yeah, it's a good one. Go on then, boys. Um, one of them is unappreciative like women. Mm. Mm. I think for me personally. Um, so ill-mannered. Yeah, just like has the expectation that I have to do everything as a standard where like if I do... The smaller things or the bigger things enough, whatever it may be, they just don't appreciate it because they think you have to do it. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I'm saying. Yeah, elaborate. Can you elaborate on it? Oh. Like simply before when we spoke about if I if I'm taking someone out, uh, it doesn't matter if I've spent a tenner or eighty quid or two hundred quid, you should say thank you. You should appreciate mm-hmm. okay, it. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. And should always offer for a guy as well. Like guys um take notice of things like that mm-hmm. even if we are the type of people that want to do that for you which we nine times out of ten are um guys want to be appreciated guys want to be appreciated as well mm-hmm. and i think that's always one thing that i kind of try to did you burp again <laughs> did you no <laughs> well it's, it's on camera so we'll find you out did, like, did, didn't you? did you did you finish your story you burped though didn't you get a VAR, get a VAR. it's in my mouth bro why did you burp face him as well why did you my mouth that? didn't even open bro did you burp though yeah <laughs> <laughs> breath stinks, doesn't it? Like, it smells like chicken. How, how, you expect me to keep looking at me all annoyed yeah. and you just burp to my mouth twice? <laughs> fuck this, bruv. My, my, my pet hate is you, bro. <laughs> Shitting on my face. Come on, bro. Finish your story. <laughs> Shit, bro, I need to compose myself. Come on, then. Take a breath. What about what, oh, shit hair? Yeah. <laughs> shit hair. <laughs> sounds like an airline company. <laughs> <laughs> Colgate, sponsor us, please. <laughs> That's a shout, you know. I clocked it, it's horrible. You're horrible. What are you eating? I ate just before I come in here. Yeah, chicken bagels with sweet chilli sauce, apparently. Banging. Yeah. Go that, on. That's it. I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> no, go on, help me out. I need... That's oh. disgusting, bro. What was it, red flags? Your own red flag. Same for you, it's like almost like non-negotiable. <sighs> done? Are you done? Are you done? No, are you done? What are you putting it down there for? How are you getting annoyed at me for being annoyed at people burping in my fucking face <laughs> twice? <laughs> He's looking at me like, go on here, tell your story. <laughs> How can I tell my story? You burped in my Why fucking face. Why are you shouting? Face. You're looking at me as if like, I'm mad for being annoyed. You are mad. <laughs> Turn this into a real. <laughs> go, go. Um, it's going to sound bad, but <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think a non-negotiable red flag for me is having a really bad relationship with your family. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. one. Either don't have the relationship there or just like, just don't entertain. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd, I'd rather them either just not fucking have the relationship where they're like going to see them if they don't fucking get on or just, just like, just go and like... Mend it. Mend it. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be like, oh, I have that anxiety of being like, oh, I'm a fucking, I've got to go see my parents. It's going to be an argument. I'd just rather it either just not happen or just fucking sort it out. Mm. You can't, you got to look at the other side of this as well. Some people can't help their relationship with their family. Yeah, I get that. 
But then either just don't entertain it then. Like if you really don't get on with me, you really don't fucking like want to see him for Christmas, don't drag me into that shit. I agree. You know what I mean? I don't want to be around it. I, I agree. Like, I get if that. you don't get on with your parents, don't fucking bring me to Christmas dinner, bruv, because I ain't I'll, I ain't done it. <laughs> okay. I get that. I think a family home is very important when you're mm. picking a partner. I really do think that. It's a shame to say that because mm. you can't pick your family, which is unfortunate. I don't care if they've got like, one, like me, a dad or a mum, like a single parent. I'm just saying if it's a shit fucking relationship, yeah, don't yeah. just like fucking drag them it's into toxic. it. It's toxic. They've got a toxic relationship with their mm. family. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be around it. Yeah. Hey, so. Okay, right. I know you want to finish on that, but this is. I think this is good to know. Finish the pod on. What's your red flag? Oh, Wow. Do you want to say your point again and articulate it properly without a thing in it? No point, it's fine. It's not that important. I'd rather sit down that side and I'll joke. It doesn't matter, it's fine. Come on. Move on to this. What's our red flags? If you had to give a red flag for yourself, what's your red flag? I'm going to have to think about it. I think I know what mine is. Think about it. You can't. I can name about four about you, dickhead. What are you on about? Go on then. Right, you moody. Everyone agree with that? Not always. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. I'm not, I'm a realist. But yeah. Same I'm, I'm just saying what he was going to say. Oh, right. okay, I'm fine. Not, Thank I'm you. just saying what yeah. he was Shouty gonna say. pants. I don't, do, do. I don't shout any more than you lot in this fucking pod. Are you fucking taking the piss, bro? <clears throat> I'll give you two anyway. Go I on. Know, you're shouting a lot in Thailand that time. Oh, should we just give each other? Yes. Yeah, let's give each other. Oh, I've done Mason already. <laughs> I've, done Mason. <laughs> I've done Mason already. Mason has so. been obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> That's your often, What were mine? What did you say were mine? Pessimistic. I'll choose pessimistic over moody. Because you're more pessimistic than you are. No, moody. I'm a realistic. I'm a realist. Nothing re- being realistic is pessimistic. That's yeah, because you, you live within the realm of being real, and if you live in the realm of being real, you will stay like a loser. That's out of order. He's called you a loser. No, I didn't call him a loser. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone in at me. Isn't it? Basically, what? No, saying. I do think that if you think if you play it safe and you play it real within the realms of being realistic, I don't think you'll ever get anywhere. You have to think of crazy but I still stuff. Do it, although I'm he really does, yeah, he I, can't, I, you can't, can't do it. I still do it. Well, he's, he's got a fucking around. three against one vote. <laughs> yeah, I've go. done everything my whole life, though. Well, everything I've ever done, I've still gone and done it. Yeah, a three but against. I look at it with no, but not just this. I don't think you should. I think you should. I don't think you should. I think you should think. Right, this might not work out. I'm fucking going for it anyway. But I do think that. But I just, I also say the realistic view out loud. I don't want to hear the realistic view. I don't care. I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about the realistic view. I want to do what's the craziest shit. If people say, well, it's never going to work. I don't give a fuck if it's going to work. I'm going to try it anyway. I get both sides. Yeah. I do as well, yeah. I don't, I don't want realistic views. I ever. Get it. I'm more, I'm realistic. Unless it's, realistic. Unless it's stupidly like, why don't we go do a pod on the moon? Then obviously fucking not. That's not going to happen. But if it's within our reach and we can actually do something about it, then I'm doing it. Yeah, I hear you. So that's only what's, one I'd say about you. What's Joe's red flag? I can get. I know. I, I can know probably all you're going to say. I've already got. I, I would say the same thing as well. Really? Yeah. I know my. I know my red flag. He's a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> it's Joe's way. I know why. What would um, you? What, can someone just define exactly what narcissist means? <laughs> Go on, mate. Narci- right. What a narcissist is. A narcissist. You're sure is, that you're right. Though, is yeah? essentially pretty much someone who. Um, wants it their way or no way so they'll tell you it's like um, I don't think it does mean that it is it's like basically someone saying um, I can do this but you can't I wouldn't say that Hmm. I do think that's what a narcissist is or or, or being like a hypocrite almost like I'd go and do it but you're not allowed to go and do it Mm -hmm. but then I'd go and that's basically what a narcissist is okay a controlling element of me being at me doing something but you're not allowed to almost that's that's basically what it is in essence to add to that isn't it also someone that will make you feel like you're wrong you're, even though, yeah even you're in the wrong you're right yeah so, so you're almost you're like you'd be saying to that person you shouldn't want to go to you should want to do this and they're like oh actually yeah do you know what maybe he's right you or maybe she's them like, so much that, that they believe in your own bullshit the, yeah, yeah correct yeah what is that, yo? <clears throat> yeah you actually genuinely believe that no, no 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 i don't know no you're not a narcissist no thank you yeah. I, don't, I don't think i'm a narcissist no you're not a narcissist i think you can, i think you i will say this though, i think you can animate certain traits of certain yeah. things yeah so, like that, that's what i said like that it's With, not. That's a, that's narcissist, a narcissistic view. Tro- yeah. What you're doing there. Yeah, that's, that's, there's yeah. a difference between, between having the view and being an actual narcissist no, 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 self. No, okay. Yeah, no, I get that. Cool. Yeah, no, you're absolutely not a narcissist. Yeah. What am I? Give me, give me. What's my red flag? What do you think yours is? What? What do you think yours is? Um. Just because you had one ready there to throw out, so I'm curious what you want to say yours is. Well, I was, no, I would say what I think you would say I am. Yeah, I don't well, actually think what? this is. I think I'm always right. You do always think you're right. But nine times out of ten, I'm you always right. Always you are right. generally right, but there are times when you ain't. Now, of course there's times when I ain't. I, I actually do... He's always... only learned to accept that as he's got older. As I well. do apologise and go, look, I am wrong, fair enough, I'll shake and say I'm sorry. Uh, but I do honestly believe nine times out of ten, I am fucking right. Generally, yeah. See, look, even they're saying it, nine times out of ten, I think I believe I am right. I do feel like I'm right. Yeah. I do admit when I'm wrong. If I'm proved wrong, point blank, I'll go, yeah, fuck it, I am yeah. wrong. Whatever. Go but on. I would say I know what my own red flag is, my mood swings. 
my emotions. You do throw some big whoppers. And your hernia. <laughs> <laughs> I always say it's red flags he's straight that's like him isn't it what he burps he burps a lot yeah you do like, a lot Bad. I don't know anyone who burps is as much there any as like you. remedy for that, that that has only come from when I had my appendix out there do you actually reckon that is genuinely 100 million percent I've never known anyone burp as much as you <laughs> 100 million percent so I don't drink fizzy drinks or anything like that. It's not it's nothing to do. Like, if he doesn't, if, if you don't burp, then you go, you kind of, you kind of like, you're like drowning. Like, no, guys, would you, <laughs> would you put your, me, <laughs> your red flag? <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like you kind of go, like you're holding it. Yeah, is that genuinely from your that appendix? That is my stomach, yeah, man. Oh, wow. Because don't forget, my, it burst and it fucked my stomach big time. I had no idea. I'm intrigued what we are going to say yours is, mate, to be honest. I don't really know. I'm well aware I'm of my perfect. emotions though. Like I, I air it even to you lot when I'm like that. Yeah. But you should control your emotions better. Yeah. I do, that's why I go quiet. I go, right, I'm going to go quiet. That's worse though, bro. How's what? that worse? Sometimes you get moody, innit? Yeah, quiet. so that's why I go quiet. Mm. I'd rather stay quiet than be snappy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's okay. Sometimes you need a time out. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's yeah. what I say to you I'm boys. I'm going to be quiet over the next couple of days. Like, just leave me to it sort of thing. Yeah. I'm still involved, I but I'm just not. I no, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, I can I'm, I'm, I'm aware of my emotions. That's far better than just snapping at everyone yeah. around you. Like, no, fuck that. No yeah. way. I wouldn't do that. Was he red flag? Are we, Are we still... talking in like relationship form or just in general? General. Yeah, it's in general. Not relationships. Commitment phobe, man. My, one of my biggest red mm. flags is I think I'm so scared to commit. What, to anything or relationships? Yeah, man. Like I just You always, commit to the pod. I think, I, I think it means relationships. No, relationship I mean relationship yeah. perspective. Like I'm, I don't know. I just can't see the positives. Of me being in a relationship, not yeah, yet. Yeah, I agree. I, agree. I, I, I kind of, agree. I kind of agree. Yeah, I, yeah. I, agree. I do actually agree. I, I think this has got a lot to do with childhood trauma, uh, trauma, the way I grew up, the things that I saw. And it's I'm almost like a violin, but I genuinely think like I am fucking damaged in some sort of respect. Mm. At least you admit it. Yeah, I like, know, I know it. Like there's, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to unlearn, mm. and I'm doing it slowly, but I still don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, I'd so almost say it's some sort of almost like abandonment issues. You feel just like someone's going to fuck off. Sort of mm. thing. If I get too close to someone, they can fuck off. It's, it's almost like a defense mechanism where you're like, you start getting a bit close. You think, no, fuck that. I need to be the one to leave. I need to be the one to get myself out of this situation. Well, that was, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't get as far as putting myself in that situation. Oh, well, yeah, you wouldn't get from, that the, from the outset, I'm thinking, yeah, man. I've already looked at this and gone, it's going to end in shit. And I think that is just down to the type of relationships I saw growing up. Mm -hmm. Personally and from other people's, and I just yeah, think, yeah. yeah, it's not, it's just not. No, not I hear that. I'm, I, I'm still not over it. Like I, I still think like that. Do you, do you, when you've got close to a girl, do you genuinely, um, have you ever said that to someone? Have you ever got close enough to a girl to have that sort of conversation and and say like, look, this is, I've got, I've got, I've got commitment. Issues. Yeah, I've said it. Like I'm open about it. Sure. I like Fair. to converse. Like I'm open. I'm, I'm, I'm open about it. I don't lie about it, but. <sighs> I just can't get over it. Like mm -hmm. being aware of it is a good thing, but then it's like what you're doing to get over that problem. Yeah. That's the most difficult part. <clears throat> and you. that's what I haven't achieved yet, I think personally. Yeah, first. Self-sabotager as well. Like I won't let get anyone get close yeah, enough, same, same, same. personally. Pingus? I don't really know. What, a red flag? Not I don't know. The only thing I can really think of, I'm not too chilled out about some stuff. No, that's not a bad thing. I just don't care sometimes, bruv. Yeah, that's... You are, I, know you're, I know what your red flag is. <laughs> I've just realised. <laughs> oh, go on. I know what Max is. Go on. You sell girls a dream too much. Oh, I don't think he's that bad. bad. He's, he's not that bad. bad. He's not, he does, does, but he's not that... That's not a red no. flag. I don't like... I, I'll, I'll never be like, oh, I want to go out with you. Like, I'll never be like, oh, I'll see a future with you. I've never said anything like that. Oh, okay, fine. I don't think he does... He sells dreams, but he's not that bad. I'd have been called out for it by now, bro. I just think I'm too chilled out. I just don't give a fuck. Like, well, other than that, I can't think of one for him. I don't think I'm that much of a... I think I'm difficult to be with. Like, I'd, I'd hate to be my girlfriend right now. Do you, oh, right now, that's a phase of your life, though. Do yeah, you we reckon... We're, we're all going for growing pains. Mm. I want to know what Merck's red flag is and we can wrap it up. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. Because that's the only thing we say about him, is that he's well, really sells a dream. Any... I'd say your red flag is I... taking too long to come out of your comfort zone. Mm. What, like general? Ah, but he doesn't with girls. No, I don't mean with girls. Fuck girls, I mean life. Yeah, possibly. Took you like half a year to speak on pod. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> but I'm very proud of you. Yeah, it's, that's, that's all part of growing and changing and evolving to the next stage. I, but... I still do think in, like if we have a guest on, you do need to like bring it up a notch. I think between us, you don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Which is, but that's part of the journey, but mm. you still haven't evolved. Course, but I'm just saying that's the next step. Yeah, yeah, the next step is you need to talk more in front of guests. Yeah.
and get involved in the conversation with guests. Talk yeah. to them, I guess. Don't worry about what they're going to fucking think. They come on your podcast at the end of the day. Can I ask you a question? If someone pisses you off or says something you don't agree with, would you go quiet or would you like say it? Because five years ago, I'd probably go quiet, but now I'll just pull them up on it. You would, yeah? Yeah, but that was like, yeah. Before, I think before I lived in London, I wouldn't say anything. Really? Then I, come, then I, went, then I moved back from London and then, yeah. It don't really bother me now. Yeah. I'm not fussed about it. I've actually got less, I've got less uh, confrontation as I got older. Really? That's good. Uh, my brother, I was a nightmare. A nightmare. It, someone agree. Someone I, looked at me wrong late, in a club. I said, what the fuck are you looking at? That's different. I wouldn't, I'd, 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 that, that, that thought process to even say that to someone doesn't even cross my head anymore. Yeah. I don't, I have no idea what's happened to me, but Growing I'm not. It's just maturity. That's all it is. I think it's more, I've got more to lose now. Yeah, there, there is that. Like, and, I, and I know what people carry on them and I'm more, more uh, like aware of what goes on and you hear these horror stories. And do you know what I think it is? I honestly genuinely believe this. I think it's where I've got this in my hand and have done for the last five years. And I see all these fucked up videos of people in certain scenarios in clubs, streets. From nothing. And it's literally nothing. And the next minute they're dead on the floor like bleeding out. I'm like, it's made me more aware of it. No, Whereas mm-hmm. these videos weren't as accessible back then. It's in your face all the time. That even on Instagram, you go for Instagram, but there's ah, look, people are just getting chopped yeah, up. I was literally on the phone to someone last night, and she was telling me a story about something she watched on um, uh, Twenty Four Hours in Police Custody. She said there was a uh, two groups of boys in a pub, in a local pub. They knew each other. They like the two groups of friends. And they all started getting more more pissed as the night went on. Some sort of confrontation went on between two of them. One of them smacked the other one. That was it. There was no brawl, no group fight, no nothing. Then went outside. One group were leaving. The other group then followed them out. That group then stabbed every single one of them boys that were outside that thing. Two of them died. Long. Oh, was it worth it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? I was like, that is fucking mental, mate. What was 50 Cent say? Rich people never fight. Yeah, he said it was always the broke boys in the club that yeah, were never fight true. now. Very true. It's very, very true. Never see rich people fight, bro. When we were younger, 18, 19, sure, we used to go out looking for a scrap, but... I think I was looking for it, but I was ready and then... Yeah, it, I, I mean, I was, it wouldn't I, take much. Yeah, it wouldn't take much, yeah. That's I, just full of tests. Yeah, young, of course it is. That's, and I expect that from 18, 19, 20, even 21 year olds. Well, I expect that's, that. That's, that's what Chunks and Philly said, didn't they? They yeah. said the ones you've got to look out for, not the young not, boys. The yeah. young boys. I expect that from the young boys. They're trying to make a name for themselves and their mates in their area. Like, I, I completely get it, boys. I Trust me. I, I don't... I get it, but I don't think it's... Yeah. You, but you shouldn't... I don't, like, take it from us for who, who did it when we were your age. I wouldn't recommend it, but I do get it. Like when I see the young boys having it, I do, I do understand what it. What the biggest difference is though, when we I were I couldn't young, think of anything worse now than having a, having, even having a confrontation. I'd rather talk our way out of it. Of mm. course. But then like when we were young, you just use your fist as a fight. Yeah. Of course, yeah. That's all it was. And even that is a weapon because you can hit someone that mm. can fall, that can hurt himself and die. And that's the extreme we're talking about. But nowadays it's not a fight anymore. It's, it's not, not, yeah, it's not, not like a- It's too personal. It's not like, you know, we've got a problem a couple of fish, like throw a couple and fish, that's it. Forget about walk it. away, shake hands and fuck off. That's how it used to be back in my school days. Mm. People go to the right round the corner to where my school was, have a scrap. I swear you would shake, shake hands, hands and yeah. just move on. But it's not like that now, is it? Like you no. have, you, young kids are carrying tools. Even in here, we'd have carrying people and you'd see them in here weeks later and there's no beef. No beef at all. No animosity. Nothing. You don't worry about seeing them again. Like, you're up, boys. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's what it is. I like that now. Tell you what, boys, send this off actually, round it off. Go controversial. Not controversial. We'll go the other way. End it on what's your green flags amongst ourselves uh, about each other? Uh, I'm very when about you about each other oh, about each other. Okay, we gave each other's reds. Give each other's greens. You're a very deep person. I reckon there's like there's a lot for you to give to your family and friends, even a woman. Like I feel like there's I don't know. Like you got you can go very very deep, and some people can't do that. You can hold any level of conversation. I think personally with you, that's one of your biggest green flags. And I think a lot of people say it to me that don't know you, that know me, like talk about the pod, they say like Mason's probably the deepest and like that can go into most certain conversations. I'll take that as a compliment, bro. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Ozzy, I would say your green flag is you're one of the best small talkers on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, so, wow. If someone turns up to a meeting first, I hope it's you. <laughs> I've never known anyone to yeah, be able wow. to chat to people like you, bro, ever. You saying I'm a waffler? Is that what that no, means? No, bro. Like, 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 where me and, you're we're, very welcome. Like, when me and Merck were late because of the trains to fucking party hard meeting, I said to Merck on the way, I'm so glad it's him in there on, on his own, not me. <laughs> like I, I, when I first when I first started doing sales, I went out, I used to go out with my boss Marshy, and he he's small talk. I mean, I have to go, eventually have to go out my own. I I I'm confident, very confident person, but what I just didn't know what to talk about. Oh yeah, how's your weekend? I hate it. <laughs> I want I want the world to like literally swallow me up, and you are. 
phenomenal. Yeah. I've never known anyone you're like very, you. You're very welcoming. You're just very mm-hmm. like very approachable. Like you can make feel, someone feel very relaxed. Like even though they don't know you, all of a sudden they just it looks like you're in full combo. I'm like, how's he got? Yeah, that? I'm like, how's it? <laughs> Oh, like, where did you know him from? Oh, I just met him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, how the fuck? Chatting to him like you know him. Yeah, but he's so all cool. random now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, cool. I'll take that. That's a quality. Yeah. I, I picked up on early yeah. doors. I was like, I don't know anyone that could do like that. <laughs> I'll take that. When you give it concepts like that, I'll take it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Merrick, I actually think you've got a really soft side to you, mate. Yeah, I, think I so, really so. do. You've got a real. I think you've got a real soft side to you, mate. That I think girls find, and people in general, like I think you're very endearing as an individual. I don't I do. even know what endearing means. <clears throat> endearing. So endearing is basically just. Uh, I, I can't. It's hard to explain endearing without sounding condescending, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like it's... you're just. You're very whole. Like you're actually quite a wholesome person. Mm. Maybe to look at from an outside point of view, people might think you're quite materialistic. Yeah. And I don't actually think you are. I think you just, you, know, you like to dress nice, you like nice things, but I think you're actually quite a very wholesome, soft person down on the inside, yeah. which is a really nice, and that is why girls are attracted to you. I've had a few birds say that. Yeah, you are. After meeting you. You know, like when you meet people, you can like, it's almost like mama, like even you, 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 you would accept someone will either like you or hate you. Facts. Like, and so, most of us might be the case. I just think most people will like you. Mm. If they like. If they meet you and talk yeah, to you. If they I meet agree. you and talk to you, most people go, He's just a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. But like, there's some people you can have mixed like kind of mm. uh, thingy about, opinions mm. about. I think just most people that meet you and actually speak to you will be like, do you know, he's actually just a nice, a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. fucking bad work. That's why like geezer that don't like, don't like you. Yeah. That fucking weirdo. Like, yeah. I, just, I just think, what's that about? That's so yeah. weird. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'd, like yeah, to I'd, lo- I'd actually love to chin him. I just said the same thing. I'd love to cop him. Oh, yeah. All right, Yosef. Dream flag. Don't think too hard, boys. Well, I know. I, 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 know, I, I can I, say I, loads because I've known you for so long. So I, I can name loads that people really wouldn't know about I, you. Do you know all. what I like most about you? I like your outlook on life. I yeah, like the, fa- I like the fact that no matter what kind of comes your way, you're just like, I'm going to fucking do it. Um, and I'm not saying that in like a, I don't give a fuck anyone else way. As in, you're, you're just like, I'm going to fucking make it. And I'd say yo is I just don't think anything can stand in your fucking way. I think you'll get to wherever you want to go to as long as you keep this attitude up. Yo is what? that type of friend you need in your life. Like, and you should be grateful that you do have. He's like the yin to my yang and pretty much always has been. Like, although I come to him a bit realistic and I do things for him in other ways, and but he for me is he does give me a bit of inspiration for life and a kick up the arse. And I sometimes feel thingy, he's like, mate, just fucking sort yourself out, bruv. Even if I don't want to hear it, he'll tell me what I want to what I need to hear in mm. order to sort stuff out. Um but he's, there's also another side to Yo that most people don't know is that he's very, again, your thing, but Yo is actually far more loving and giving than people realise what he does behind closed doors. He tries to not act like it. He tries to give a real tough, hard persona. And layers. Get all the, yeah, he's, but he, he's got some layers to him, man. And like, he's a very, very, very giving individual. Um, and if you're his friend, he genuinely doesn't want anything from you but your friendship. So. That was deep. Fucking yeah. hell, nearly made me tear up. <laughs> No, well, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, obviously, because I can see like each other. Yeah. <laughs> so, Surprisingly, I mean. yeah, we yeah. love each other. Yeah. I was on Snapchat and you see all the bickering, yeah. mate. Because I've, I've seen it firsthand for such a long time, bruv. I've had nothing to offer. I don't come from money. I don't come from nothing. Do you know what I mean? So, we, don't, we both don't. So I've got nothing to offer him but uh, my friendship from when we first met. So I know what his true intentions are. Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, do you know what? I don't yeah. have a friendship with anyone for any other reason. Anyone, yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's what I'm saying. If, you, if you're his mate, then there's. There's no hidden agenda. Thank you, Mason. That was very nice. <laughs> Made me feel soft. That's it. And back to hard. We're not, we're not used to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we've never, <laughs> fucking hell, we've never been nice to each other. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't afford no, no, to no, fucking hell. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Do you know what? It's really, really weird. I, I keep, we keep going off tangents. And I do want to close the pod off because it's turning into a long one. But what I will say is, what I'm very surprised about and I never ever even contemplated it as a thought when we went into this. I never thought you two were going to become our friends. <laughs> what going into it? No, 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 like, no, 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 wait, wait. No, okay, no, go on, explain, that's, yeah. that's probably come out wrong. Like when, I feel like I know what like mean. when setting up the know, pod man. and like like agreeing to do it with you boys, I never thought. I thought it was just going to be like a bit of a like transaction. Yeah, transaction. Perfect word. I thought it was going to be more transactional. I agree. I, and I never even deep to the point was, oh, we're going to become really good friends with these boys. That never even crossed my mind. I just thought. Right, these boys are good to do a pod. It'd be good energy. Let's do it. That's, that was it. I just thought it was transactional. We could do it. And now you boys have actually become like my best pals, brother. It's fucking weird because I would, if you asked me a year and a half ago, 
I would considering the group of friends that I've got, the, the ride or die boys I've got, mm. I would have never ever said there would be another two boys that entered the friendship group ever again to the day I die. And then these you two motherfuckers <laughs> come out of nowhere. Absolute fucking bozos. Yeah. Out so of nowhere. Funny. And now I've got Thank two you. two more best friends. So. No, I, I I would agree with what you're saying, because it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Which is uh Thank you. Especially okay. at our age as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, a little bit like, to meet. You know, it's okay. No, girls, <laughs> it's okay get, wait, girls get new friends all the time. It's weird. It's very weird. Very strange the way girls are with their friends. They get friends very quickly. Yeah. yeah. But then, then they, like, like, oh, don't talk to her no more. Like, yeah. What would you mean? You don't How do you not talk to, to that person anymore? anymore? Yeah, I know, yeah. But, so, um, yeah, I, I agree with that. 100 million percent. Okay, right, that's it. We're not, no more. 52 <laughs> weeks now. No more, no more being nice to each other. Stopping. We've been nice to each other for 52 Same time weeks. next year. Yeah, same time next year. But guys, listen, just two things while we wrap up. If you made it this far, very, thank you very much. I'm not asking you to subscribe yet. I will ask you to do that in a second. In a minute. But me and the boys are thinking about, if we're getting to that point now, we're thinking about maybe doing merch. We've got mm. loads of good ideas. Even if we don't sell it immediately, we're definitely going to start wearing it because obviously we're already um, merched up to well, we're not well, all of us match, but some of us are wearing merch tonight. Anyway, the point of the matter is we're going to start wearing more merch, more designs. If you guys want merch from us, let us know in the comment section because uh, it'd be good to get a kind of a, an insight to what you guys are thinking. But other than that, we, what we might do is just to see the type of interest that we are getting is we might set up a mailing list. We will. Um, very soon come, set up a mailing list just to keep you guys in the loop of perhaps even what we're doing. If we could link that with Party Hard and some of the events that we're going to. So if you guys want to start booking holidays, you can see where we're going, where we're going to be there and we'll keep you guys updated and then obviously keep you updated with the merch. That could be actually a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah good. Because everyone yeah. keeps asking us what holidays you're going on and where are you going? We could keep you in the loop. Very what, fucking good idea. On the yeah. mailing list of locations we're going, where we're staying. Dates we're going. Dates we're going and book it through Party Hard. Yeah, that's I like that. such a great idea. Do you know what I mean? Just just that. Literally just thought that. That's there. such a good idea. Fair play to you. Yeah, fair play to you. All right, guys, well, you got it there. Well, hit subscribe if you made it this far. It's a very long pod tonight. Yeah. Very, yeah. very long pod, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, same. Yeah. Enjoyed it a lot. Didn't expect to spiral to that, did no. you? No, no, I didn't, no. Yeah, well, That's the beauty about this, though, isn't it? Sometimes yeah, you just smart. don't know what direction it's going to take. Prick. <laughs> Anyway, right. <laughs> subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. Please make sure you hit that follow button above all else. Hope you love the pod and we'll see you next time. Love. Thank Peace. you. Peace.